Yeah! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to our broadcast. This is RGL.GG. I am Eckstein, and we've got for you the Season 2 Traditional Sixes Lower Bracket Finals 100 Beasts versus Ford Gaming. And I'm joined by Dolphin on production. And on the mic, we have a special guest. I'm joined by the team captain of Froyotech, who is awaiting the winner of this in the grand finals, none other than Banny. How you doing, Banny? Hey, I am doing great. That was one hell of an intro. I can't match that, <laughs> that energy right now. That's all right. I mean, we're still pregame. You know, some people like to like DM and jump all over the map. Some people have already done that, and they're like in that zen focus waiting to get hype. And I know that you're excited about this match, and I am excited about this match. We are going to get into this. Um, let's talk about the rosters real quick. Just go right over it. As a showstopper saying, I can't, I can't stop shaking. I'm sure he's joking around. He is one of the main players, 400 beasts. He's on Romer. Pa uh, pocket is going to be played by Ash. Flank scout is going to be Yite and Jay, their pocket scout. Rounded out by bot mode on demo man and 404 on medic. Banny, some generic thoughts on this roster. It's a pretty strong roster. They've got a lot of experience across the board. Um, their their team is a bit unconventional. Jay is not traditionally known as a scout, but has been a bit of a standout player for them. Just kind of a chaotic player. Um, and then mm -hmm. also Showstopper and Ash, traditionally known as the opposite roles of what they're playing on this team. But they've been making it work. Their their style is a bit weird across the board, honestly. But they they all tend to synergize quite well. Um, and yeah, they're they're pretty strong, honestly. Mm -hmm. Over for Ford Gaming, their scouts are going to be Sandblast and Yosh Marmalou, the Roamer, while Trip Bois going to be playing their pocket tonight. Then Psy Guy on the Demo Man and Barodactyl, the Medic. Any some thoughts on what this roster has to offer? Yeah, these guys are, I guess, a lot more um, traditionally in their roles across the board. You know, they're all mm -hmm. kind of playing in their comfort zones on these roles. And um, um, I think that does help them a lot in these sort of matches. Um, they did make a recent roster change when uh, Patty joined Froyo and Marmalou came in. Um, mm -hmm. And I actually, I was worried that it would kind of hurt their team chemistry, but... They have adapted quite well and, in fact, might be playing some of the best they've ever played. Um, I think they're really hungry to win this, and I think they're going to bring a lot to the table here. Let's go to the map picks real quick. And uh, then as we, uh, you know, we are getting in closer towards match time, um, we'll uh, talk a little bit more maybe about how these teams match up exactly. But uh, matches that, uh, the maps that we have uh, in front of us tonight for this best of three, first off, as some... Um, uh, well, I don't, actually, I'm not sure what Dolphin has up, but our first map here is going to be Process, and then we're going to be following it up with Ford Gaming's pick, which is Metalworks, and then Goalie Wash, our final map. Um, 100 Beasts known to be very strong on Process. These teams did face each other twice this season with 100 Beasts taking both of those matches, but actually, I do believe it was on Sunshine and Granary. So, um, Banny, what are your thoughts on kind of the map pool that we've ended up with here tonight? Yeah, I think it's actually kind of surprising to me because I would have thought they would have picked the opposite maps. I would have thought 100B uh -huh. would go for Metalworks and Ford would go for Process. So mm. I, I guess they're both confident on these maps. Um, we did play against 100B on Process, and um, so I, I kind of know what to expect out of them. And we just, we've just we been scrimming Ford a lot. Um, they're strong on all these maps. Um, I think... A lot of what it's going to come down to is the mid fights, and uh, so we're going to be seeing a lot of yeah, very intense mid fights. Um, I I really think it's hard to call one map like strongly in favor of either team, except mm -hmm. Gully Wash. I feel like Gully Wash might be a strong one for hundred B, and um, one of the big factors on across all these maps, I think, is going to be bot mode on the mids. He's incredibly aggressive, mm -hmm. and he's willing to die to put out like a ton of damage. And he can really shut down your mids. And if you hesitate and give him too much space, he will take advantage of that. So that's going to be one of the big factors for them to keep in check. Um, in particular in process, the mid that we we mostly did in our match against them that resulted in us getting rolled um, is the mid that Ford tends to favor. So we'll see if it you know plays into 100B's favor there on the mids. 
Um, it's all going to be about adapting, I think, for Ford. I think 100B is mostly just going to play their style, but Ford's really going to have to tighten it up and uh, play, um, you know, a bit reactive in that regard. They still mm -hmm. want to play confident, but um, the key is to not crumble if 100B is putting the pressure on them. Yeah, certainly. Um, you, you mentioned a lot of things about bot mode. On on the flip side of the table, I do want to talk about uh, Psy Guy. Um, you know, I know that he has some demo man background, but you know, he's somebody that I, I kind of associated with, uh, on that soldier position. Um, could you maybe elaborate a little bit more on, you know, what it's like to see him back on this demo man position? Yeah. Well, Sai actually to me is more traditionally a demo. He did yeah. have a pretty successful run on uh pocket soldier. He did play for Froyo tech as a pocket. Right. He's, he's a lot more of a slow kind of like DM heavy waddling player. I feel like mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a strange style. It's hard to synergize sometimes with like a super aggressive style, but I think that he's been adapting pretty well to play with um, Ford's preferred style. He's actually been one of their most high impact players, in my opinion. And I actually think a lot of this match is going to come down to how well Sai can play. If Sai is getting shut down, um, I think that Ford won't be able to contain 100B's aggression. I think that's going to be really important. But Sai has been, you know, um, when we play them with Habib, Habib is, you know, plenty aggressive on his own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Sai has been, you know, standing his ground and keeping Habib a bit in check at times and catching him when he overextends. So he's going to have to keep that up. What you don't want to see out of Sai is when he gets caught behind, he's always on the flanks and he's going for those risky 1v1s. His team needs him to, like, stay on pace with them. And he just needs to put out that damage, uh, you know, at the right times, not just when it's convenient for him. Uh, I, uh... Love to see players uh, asking if the cast is ready. Hopefully, 90 seconds in the past, they have been told we are ready Sam to Blast go. Sandblast was asking me if they're ready. Should I give them the green light? Oh, yes, of course. Um, please go right ahead. Right. Um, and uh, while we wait uh, for the present to catch up with the present, I guess, you know, STV delays, um, quick rundown, Banny. You know, do you think the 100 Beasts have it? You know, if you do think so, uh, do you want to give maybe like a percentage odds on that? Because, I mean, I think, you know, they are kind of generally considered the favorites here, but perhaps you know a little bit more about how uh, teams have been playing in the background. Yeah, I do think 100B are the favorites. They have beaten Ford, um, you know, both times they played, but it's always been incredibly close. The match back on Sunshine just came down to that crumble. I think 100B can handle the mm -hmm. pressure a bit better. They tend to, um, you know, be a comeback team. Um, and I think they are the favorites. You're right about that. But I kind of want to give it to Ford. I think that they're playing better than they've ever played. Um, there was a little bit of you know roster um, yeah. issues with 100B recently where Jay took a couple days off. And they have been getting less practice overall. Mm. So I want to say we're going to give it to Ford here um, in two maps, actually. Ford 2-0, the upset, mm. I'm calling it. Interesting, interesting. Okay, we'll see. It. Uh, have to see if Banny is the prophet as well as the uh, team captain waiting for these teams in the grand finals. Um, you know, I just kind of like sort of have to historically go with 100 Beast, have to throw that out there. Um, I think that Fort Gaming could take a, a map from him for sure. But um, I sort of wonder, I, I don't know, you know, like I, I guess we haven't mentioned it yet. You know, we're obviously we're trying to, we always try to stay positive and optimistic on looking on the bright side of TF2. But, you know, this was supposed to be a land playoffs and, um, I think maybe Ford Gaming, you know, in terms of peaking as a team and stuff and getting together and rallying on land, you know, you get that feeling that maybe they could get that upset. The question yeah. is whether they can apply that in this online setting that unfortunately we have been forced into. Yeah. And quick before you take the mid, uh, that's a great point. I think 100B was really banking on that land and it might have killed a bit mm -hmm. of their motivation. So that could be a factor here as well. But yeah, you can take the mid. Certainly going to play into things, but at the end of the day, it just comes down to Team Fortress. Showstopper trying to fly through here. Sai had some stickies in the air. Didn't be, uh, wasn't able to dead in time, though. Right now, Trip Boy and company trying to take their left side, rotating onto the containers. Looks like they're going to be able to, but they might kind of get pinched in this corner here. Bear has a soldier right above him. Ash actually going for Marmalou. Trip Boy and Showstopper, the first one's down here. Soldiers going down uh, completely on both sides right now. But it's the beast uh, players that are going to be taking the point here. Sandblast on top. Not really finding the damage, though. Yeah, that was the exact same mid that I was expecting uh, 100B to go for. They would counter that, that left side wrap. Tons of early damage, and now they're just trying to get that roof control. Good damage onto Jay. He's getting that pack, and both teams now have Uber. They're going to be going for this exchange. It's going to be a question of who can find that damage, who can maybe drop a player during this Uber. 
Sai getting some stickies on the ground, but the spawners are coming in. Height though, still in control by Ford. And now the first move is being made. Showstopper and Marmaluke. Showstopper very weak, and Sandblast finds that pick. Onto the roof now. Ash also weak. Yike getting dropped. 100B dropping players left and right, and they're having to leave their choke. They're down three. Let's see if the chase can come in here. Yeah, that ended up being a great fight by Ford Gaming. Very slow fight from him with stickies on the roof waiting. A soldier bombing in. Trip Boy looking for damage. Does get some shots towards bot. Has to back up a little. Barmalu looking for action. He's going to go down in lobby. They can't get too greedy here. If they overchase in lobby before they even cap mid, 100B will know that the numbers is actually going to be in their favor. They're approaching into rollout with Uber. Looks like Ash is walking through. Will they commit? This is where they can't hesitate. They are all in. Sai doesn't have the traps in place. They're giving a lot of space to 100B. Who will pop first? That's the question. Yeah, will Ford stand their ground? 4-4 took a little bit of rocket damage there, but he surfed it away calmly. Looks like things are kind of calming down here with Ford gaining backing up. Sai needed to lock down all those entrances. They should not have been able to walk through completely mm -hmm. for free mm -hmm. out of there. Marmalade with a big bomb in here. He will get one rocket, not full damage though. And taken out. Yeah, it's a forced attempt. We may see a counter sack. They are approaching choke. All six of them here. No one worrying about IT. Yite's gonna rotate over now. Showstopper gets in onto bear. Hits one rocket. It's not enough. He beefs the second one. And now hot mode walks all the way through choke. Doesn't get punished. That is insane that he's able to get that much space. And if they keep giving him that, that is gonna uh, backfire on them. They need to keep bot mode in check here. Yeah, Psy guy rotating in the sewers here. Trip Boy and Barodactyl art there. Showstopper just respawning here. Marmalu trying to work some uh, angles from IT. The push is coming in here. As Psy coming out, Trip Boy jumping forward. Not a ton of damage, but oh, oh, no. oh pipe up massive defense. pipe. Yeah, that was huge. Things Without bot mode, do they stay in? That's the question. Are they going to go for this exchange? Another pipe from Psy. Psy doing crucial damage right now. He pipes 404, oh. and he pops. Yeah, great job getting that pop there. Trip Boy will go down. Uh, Sandblast ready for an Uber charge here. Taking a lot of splash around the corner, but that last rocket from Ash isn't there. Uber coming out now, pushing forward on Sandblast. Ash still there on the ground, jumping around backwards. Psy Guy pushing forward. They haven't found oh, any frags with this, though. No damage. Yeah, there goes Psy Guy. Baradactyl going back. Bombo trying to uh, jump forward, got a little hung up on the signage. Ash, a nice rocket on Baradak, who barely doesn't crater there. Nice escape from him. But yeah, not great stuff. Four there four were gaming. two players completely caught out there near the point, but Sandblast and Sai unable to get those kills. They allowed Showstopper to get behind mm -hmm. them into sewer. Meanwhile, they let the scout also run away. And 100B is one of those teams where their players will live with just against all odds. They'll get that arrow from 404. And now they're trying to ride that oh. momentum all the way through. Sai is dead, and it's a crumble coming in. They're trying to stand their ground, fighting over this spire. They're going for air shots, but Trip is being left alone. Everyone else has retreated. They had to be all in there if they wanted to hold that. Uh, I mean, they will get to Uber exchanges, but uh, Trip Boy is down for 12 seconds. You do think this is pretty dire for him? We do they're, have a push coming. Yeah, there's definitely going to be an opening here from 100B. They're going to try to get in. Showstopper already jumps through. He's going to instantly die, though. That's going to call the reset. Maybe another counter sack. Marmaluke moving into lobby. Is he going to find bot mode? No, he's not quite going to find the opening. They have the sniper. Might go for a peek here. But I think we're going to go into a prolonged stalemate here as they try to find a, a solid opening to go off of. Yeah, sniper over on shutter. Nobody from his team going to be opening the door for him. We'll see if he can kind of get something here. But, you know, definitely cautious plays here from Ford Gaming as their own last. Sandblast just checking for some off glasses right now. Yep, that's good of him to do. Um, there, I, we didn't really mention it, but Showstopper has also this season been doing quite a bit of that spy off-classing. Jay's known for his off-classing as well, sniping, going spy, etc. Um, there's a Yosh hitting the headshot in the lobby. Yeah, speaking of known off-classers, right? A lot oh, of pressure on the bot mode to get the great kill rockets. there. Kills bot mode in upper IT. Yeah, Trip Boy out on battlements now. He tries to jump forward, kind of gets stuffed. Other players coming out here. Yites on the ground. He gets pressured and killed. A couple players behind Spire. Showstopper can't get forward. The Uber charge pops here. An exchange. Sandblast should be able to soak it. So it should be pretty good for Ford Gaming. The beasts are backing up. Yeah, that was great that they got that exchange out early instead of delaying it. If 4-4 could milk that, his spawners would be coming in. And that would look a lot different in favor of 100B. But because they found those three picks and they immediately went on top of them for that exchange, um, it forced the issue and 100B had to end up retreating. Yeah, so we're in the stalemate situation, but just six minutes into our match here. Best of three, two halves for each of our maps. So 
Certainly things just getting more intense. Please help us out with spreading the word. TF2 is a wonderful esport, and this is almost the conclusion of the second uh, of the season. Third place gonna be decided, and well, you know, yeah, po that's, possibly second place, right? That's ben? very important to mention is that this is an elimination match and the decider for the grand finals. So there's a lot at stake here, a lot on the line, and there's gonna be a lot of pressure because of that. I imagine if we could hear into the team's comms, there's gonna be. Plenty of moments where it's going to be absolute chaos, everyone talking at the same time, and that's that's the environment that you know yeah. champions are made yeah. under. So we'll yeah, see. Yeah, definitely. I was I was mentoring a lower level uh, TF2 team today and watching them. I, I mentored them yesterday, watching them play a little bit today, and sort of afterwards, it's just like, well, you know, just just don't crumble under the pressure. <laughs> you know, easy stuff, right? You know, and even yeah. these top teams, you know, still have to deal with that of like getting the nerves and getting the frustrations of things just not quite going right. You know, the voices just get a little bit more tense in the channel. We'll yep. see how it goes. Yeah, it's definitely easier said than done. But um, so far, you know, they're actually being fairly patient, which is a good sign. Um, it's always important to, like, sort of reset, get everyone on the same page, take a breather. You know, you've got 10 minutes to work with for the round reset. So mm -hmm. taking advantage of that, it's probably a good idea, especially when it's, you know, all even. Show stopper with an yeah. attempt, yeah, but you get stuffed out. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great counter by Marmalu on a bot mode. It was kind of left alone in sewer or in choke, where the rest of the team was in sewer. With those two players down, we might see a little bit of pressure here. Trip Boy's trying to get out of sewer, and Marmalu coming through IT. The the Uber is popped here. Marmalu is uh, safely behind all the way through side, trying to push in here now as well. Sending some damage over the top. Beast in retreat. Ash might get caught out here. He's trying to get a frag on his way out, but not able to do so. Yeah, that was that was crucial out of side. Um, 100B was trying to stay on the rock there to just uh, contain Ford from pushing through on those two picks um, and the lack of the demo, but Sai just forced them right off and it created so much space for his team. Marmalu got behind and they didn't even end up popping. Now they're attempting to get in without popping even further. 4-4 is already at 50% though, so Ford needs to keep this going fast into last. Yeah, great attempt by Showstopper a few seconds ago to try to get that pop. Unable to do so, though. But Ford Gaming, Baradactyl on the stairs right now. They're trying to push in through lobby here. Going to leave a player capping uh, on second here as they get in. They're we do have a heavy weapons still guy milking, up. But the Uber is almost ready from 404. Not enough cap time. And they're not enough pressure onto 404. And they're dropping yeah. players. Ooh. Thankfully, Bear held the Uber. I That's think a, a bit too much hesitation there, though. Mm. Great snipe on Sandblast. Like, Trip Boy going into heaven there. You you lose him. That's like, okay. But now losing that second player uh, with Uber still not being popped out here. The pressure is on from the Beast. They're going to be able to capture second. Yeah, they did a great job pushing out there really fast. They got everyone through multiple different doorways. Sai was able to trap off one, but he couldn't hold them all. He got the pick on Yite, which is valuable. Probably did prevent a little bit of aggression coming out from 100B because they had to keep one of their scouts anchored to the point to get that cap time. But mm -hmm. uh, thankfully, you know, Ford uh, cuts their losses there. They are still in control of this round, owning mid. So it's going to be on them to try to break this stalemate now. Yeah, certainly when it comes to bringing up that discipline as a TF2 team, you know, you just got to be happy that you still have some sort of advantage and uh, didn't get a good push in the last, but you're right. They still have mid. Ubers are yeah. even. And they're in the advantage. They're peeking sewer now. Probably just trying to draw eyes away from Marmalu, who is in the choke. Psy guy peeking in really hard. Last time he hit some crucial pipes in this very situation. So let's see if he can do the same. No one really watching IT. Showstopper probably noticing something's up. It's yeah. just a spam play. Now Trip's oh. in. Interesting that Trip is the one that sacks instead of Marmalu, who's uh, the roamer on this team. Maybe they want to make sure Marmalu is always in position to watch that flank, and they're willing to sack Trip just so they can tank Sai. Mm. Counter sack comes in through choke. It's an attempt from Ash. Gets kind of shut down, but Marmalu finds an opening simultaneously mm. going for the 404 on the counter sack. Two soldiers down, so that's a lot of room in choke. Up to Sai to hold this now. Yeah, Sai pressuring forward a little bit for a second there, then backing up. We do have Showstopper bombing in pretty far forward. Yikes, uh, pressuring around Rock as well. He's backing up by a health pack. Fighting on point does get Sai. Nice pickup by Yite. Teammates starting to follow up now in bot mode, playing around the big Rock. And uh, Jay controlling the uh, container as well. Uber charges have been exchanged over in Choke here. Yite getting a little bit of flash here. And uh, this is Sandblast, awkwardly stuck, kind of behind over to IT health pack. Oh, but he's this really is amazing from out. Sandblast. He pulled their entire team into IT. But Trip feeds. He needed to just hold that choke. Uh, oh, yeah, they man. got two frags there with the Yosh. So many crucial things happening there. First, 
the the two down play losing two soldiers from Ford created mm -hmm. that opening in choke. 100B got three people in. Showstopper lives with 20 HP. Jay lives with 20 HP. Then Yite is completely isolated as the rest of his team leaves, but still finds the kill and they just live. That's what 100B does. And yeah. Ford needs to stop them from doing that. They cannot right. be allowed to live in those situations. Yeah. And then when Sandblast pulls them completely out of position into IT, they just need to capitalize on the positioning, not go for that chase. That that's a, Those are two mistakes back to back there from Ford and Thankfully, they're still in this round, but it's it's costing them one point at a time, and eventually that's going to be a round on the board for 100B if that keeps up. Yeah, certainly. It's been a, a war of attrition, but right now you just feel like the beasts are being a, a little bit more out of it. Nice stickies on uh, the stair in front of Sewer here. 404, though, kind of on the other side. They've seen that trap as well. Pushing in kind of slow here, just taking a, a cautious move with it. <laughs> Looks like the bomb in from Ash coming in, though. Bot mode does go down, though, so Ash is like, no, never mind. Your boy trying to cut them off in sewer, but the escape is there. Ash very low. Nice arrow though from 404. They will get out. Yep, that, that was great from Sai. Keeping bot mode in his place. That's like the third time this match so far that bot mode has been the opening pick. So much damage on Ash oh, and Showstopper. Yeah. This is where Ford needs to capitalize. I want to see a chase here while they have two picks. See if they can get that force or even just go for the exchange right now because then 100B will have to retreat. What are we going to see? It's just a jump in from Trip. But Marmalu gets in IT. He's unseen. He's jumping in from behind. On to 404. Gets the rocket. Oh. Step forward. Oh. 10 yeah, HP he, survive. He got a great pop there, but completely threw him sideways. One of those things like 404 almost just like skipped through choke like a, a roamer on the rollout or something. But yeah. 404 does play that well. Is able to hold things together. Nonetheless, though, with that pop, Ford Gaming now have a very large Ubercharge advantage. Waiting for Marmalu to come back here, but we'll see how they decide to move forward with this. Yeah. We saw this opposite situation for 100B. They were pushing through sewer and they dropped bot mode. It's because the heals didn't commit. So are we going to see the heals mm -hmm. commit or are they going to hesitate? They need to go. They need to be decisive. They pop the Uber. All of 100B trying to retreat. One soldier caught in upper lobby. He gets out 50 HP. No picks there, but they are going to get second. 404 though ready on the uh, leapfrog here. Already at 90%. That's how long Ford took on this. So will they be able to get this force clean and just keep leapfrogging it on second here? Yeah, bot mode and company, they are starting to push through from stairs. We'll pop the Uber immediately. Bot mode jumping all the way into Choki's getting right on top of uh, Baradactyl. Can't hit that final pipe though. Sticky over the top, Baradactyl very low. It's gonna be Jay the pistol from three. Jay. Trip though, salvage. Oh. No, he beefs. He needed to kill 404 there. Yosha's gonna go for it. He has to get this pick and nice. he does. That's the salvage they needed. And look at this cap time, it's so slow. Yeah, They're not gonna be able to roll into mid probably. Aggressive play forward from Marmalu. I was wondering if he was like just trying to desperately stop that or slow it down to uh, get uh, a forward uh, spawn for Barodactyl. We'll get the back spawn, but they are giving a little bit of breathing room with 404 being down. 20% uh, percent advantage, pretty slim, but looks like they feel like, and maybe rightly so, that 100 beasts, well, I don't know, 100 beasts now are like, okay, we got heals, we're coming back into the point. Ash the big bomb off the wall. They will find Trip Boy. So both teams, as they come back into the point, 100B is getting the better of that exchange easily. Yeah. Marmalu's gonna get trapped too. That 100B loves to take that that fight there when they're all just pretty healthy and they get in clean. That was mostly on side uh -huh. there, I think, the stuff. Nice bomb from Ash. Yeah. Cutting off the exit of Yosh there. But this is a 4v4. Yeah, Uber Charge is extremely even as both uh, medics about to cross 80% here. So 4-4 though, nervous though, because the positioning of Fort Gaming pretty strong. Trips in, making that space. But I think they're going to slow it down. At yeah, this point, it's even. Yeah, one player respawning for Fort Gaming. Seemed like he was hesitating to spawn for just a split second about maybe coming up off class. But uh, rolling out on scout. Yeah, 15 minutes into this round. There's been so much back and forth. I think, think we've seen mid change hands about four times or so and but both teams hanging on even with the crucial picks someone's always clutching it out to uh keep their team in it yeah what's well, a lot of pressure on it marmalade gonna go down now so that pressure melts away yep they can afford to lose marmalade but this counter sack is mm. gonna come in and they need to hold their ground they can't let hunter yeah. b take over show stoppers in now bombs on his side good damage on side but he's gonna now yeah, he's gonna live Showstopper now, 10 seconds behind Marmalu's spawn, so that's 10 seconds for them to work with. Yeah, that was a good job by Ford Gaming. What I was going to say, it was definitely not the most important thing, but it was like uh, Showstopper's 
bomb in, or no, Ash's bomb in. He tried to do a skip jump and just got completely stuck. So Ford Gaming definitely did a really good job of dealing with potential bombers there. Yeah. And now they're trying to kind of work this in dry. Very dangerous. Sai taking a lot of damage, not being healed. Will he get out? He's barely going to get out there. Uh, Marmalou <laughs> also, yeah, playing kind of risky over an IT Marmalou getting out, though. I think that's maybe what they're going for. They're trying to see if they can pull enough attention away from IT for Marmalou to get in. Marmalou does sometimes find that opening through upper IT, and then he flanks from behind near rollout. And if you don't see that coming, that's kind of how he got that force last time when 404 did not see him coming at all. Now they're doing an IT bus, seeing if Marmalou can get in lower. He goes for the jump. Oh, with the 404. Yeah. He's out to one. So far oh. back. And then just hits an arrow on Ash, like, just because he can as well. Um, yeah, he's pushing through IT. Gonna get right on top of Sai and does pick up the pack there. Oh, and then the pressure from bot mode from the side to get Sai a bomb in from Ash as well. He's not gonna find much success. But um, 100 Bs are pushing in here. Showstopper getting pressured by Yosh. Showstopper has to back up for the pack. 4 4 will back up as well with two players going down on that sack and no uh, pop. Not really able to capitalize on the kill on Sai there. Yeah, that was that was actually a really close. Bear went down to about 50 health. So um, it was good of him to hold that Uber and that they traded two for two. Um, maybe that's why they don't sack Marmalou because no one was watching IT. They they need to keep eyes on that because Yite just ran right through, went for that play, ended up killing Sai or forcing him into the spam at Choke. So um, they got to keep their eyes on that. Yeah, right now Ford Gaming trying to pressure over from the side of Sewer. But uh, not really a whole lot coming from it. Marmalou uh, grabs that pack, but nonetheless, Yite and Showstopper able to get the kill on him. Yite getting stuffed Ooh. as uh, Trip Boy rotating. Yeah, good, good timing yeah. for him. Yeah, they adapted immediately, thankfully. Yite was looking to just hold W there once again, and Trip put the rockets right in his face. But look at Botmo just walking in. Sai cannot allow this to happen. Botmo's so weak! Gets arrowed. Those are crucial arrows. 404 hits those all the time. These players live with 10 HP. It's infuriating to play against, but... <laughs> To watch, you know, you got to give him credit, mm -hmm. but it's risky. It's risky business out there. Side so just sort of poking, but yeah, things chilling out here. Five minutes, twenty seconds on the round reset timer. That is a rarity, but still has been an intense game mm -hmm. nonetheless with zero zero. Yeah, running that clock down. There have been some attempts to peek and prod, but. Now it's Yosh on Sniper. That's going to be their solution to break the stalemate. Mm -hmm. They haven't found the openings elsewhere. I don't think Yosh has been spotted yet, so he is going to have a free shot here. Where will he take his first shot? Looks like he's going to choke. Oh, actually, into sewer. He's going to charge up that shot. Will he hit the crucial shot to open this up? Yeah, peeking out around the oh. far side. He does not hit it. Bamo giving him another oh. chance, though. Will hit the second attempt. So this is a lot of pressure. Will 100B stand their ground? It looks like they will. They're just going to give Yosh more attempts, more headshots. And the Ubers pop. They force it out. But he did hit a headshot. Both the soldiers on 100B. Super weak here. Wait, yep. they're just going to drop oh, two. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't sure what they were doing with the soldiers there. Um, both Trip Boy and, and Marmalou or Yosh. Like, everybody getting kind of disconnected. So dropping two players. They have an Uber advantage here, but they need some respawners. Oh. Bear is too far back. Just pop the Uber on side. Bomb that choke. That's what I want to see. Yeah, and Sandblast kind of fighting Sandblast alone wants here. to do it. Him uh, and Bear need to get on the same page, but Sai is just finding frags and Showstopper's AHP running away. That may mean second is free here, but the longer they take, look at Ash. He's hiding near Sewer. He's going to try and get this force. He dies. Mm. Nice pick. That's a late death. They got to roll this to last because 404 has been building pretty well. 60%. Last time they were in this position, they let 404 get it, and the, the narrow window here it's just closing 10 seconds off of uber they're walking in yeah Will they, they be able to get this they have a scout capping second here level one sentry gun that's yeah it just gets taken out sandblast on the point already trying to get some time on it flash very nicely as the stickies get popped here trip boy going across 404 did get time to get that uber charge out they've charged through lobby they've gotten marmalade they've gotten frags nobody from florida gaming able to sneak behind or possibly capture the point there and retreat yeah, and they they just rolled through so fast that they denied both those spawns. If Ford could have slowed that down even just one or two seconds, they would probably be holding mid right now because Sai would have spawned. A lot of damage from Sandblast, but there it is again. 10 HP on Showstopper. He survives once again. And 100B are just going to keep rolling on this momentum. They 
been so much more aggressive than uh, than Ford in these situations. Ash is in, bot mode's in, but Trips challenging bot mode. That's a good pick. But Showstopper comes in from IT. He's gonna find Bear. Kills him with one Ma rocket. Oh, Marmaluke, oh. huge flank there. And I think the Beast got a little overconfident. Showstopper still on the side though. He's still trying to cause some trouble. The but... side doing crazy jumps is already spawn camping. I think he might actually find one or two. Steps them in. Oh. But he's gonna give it up. Yeah, it was it was simultaneous the the salvage plays on both sides, getting both medics and just going all in. Um, and Ford kind of comes out on top, but the heels are in position from 100 B earlier, which means they're actually gonna get onto mid here. And size jumping out, they're giving up mid. Yeah, right now this is going uh, a little bit better for the beast. Ford Gaming certainly have kind of lost a couple mid fights where you know. Uber charges are kind of even overall. You feel like, you know, they should be able to just kind of hold things off, you know, get a stalemate going again. They've slipped a few points back. Again, they had an opportunity to push in the last. He's got a bit of a stab on it and haven't gotten rolled all the way back yet. Yep. Now it's just another flip situation. It's on 100B to try to break this. I think they are starting to want to just close this out. This round has been going 23 minutes. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're at the point as well where, at least in this current circumstances, the round reset timer never going to come a factor again because we'll get half time first. But right now, uh, bot mode will be pushing in through the side and arrow spammed over by 404 um, towards Trip Boy. I don't, I don't think he connected. in. Just pipes over the top. Big bomb from Ash coming in here, but he's just it's a fake. Sneak through. For yeah, showstopper. showstopper. Uh, he gets piped down uh, with Trip, Trip Boy. Going to sewer. Ooh. Uh, Marmalou got uh, taken out by Botmo. Didn't quite see where that happened. Botmo now putting some damage on Sandblast as well, but he will be able to back up. Sai is learning his, uh, learning his lesson here. He's starting to trap out that side of Sewer because they are probably expecting that play to come in. It's probably the third or fourth time that's happened. Um, yeah. Now a lot of peeking here in choke we have an off class showstopper on sniper not traditionally known for his sniping we'll see if he gets the shot sometimes all you need is this first surprise shot he's gonna open that door mm. body shot but not enough but will they do better in this position than ford did previously are they gonna just stand their ground here and keep taking shots and put ford um in the very precarious situation of hiding and giving up free ground or are they gonna yeah are they gonna retreat and let showstopper get dropped i don't know we'll see yeah big it's bomb coming from marmalu been good pressure from ford gaming but at the same time you know they haven't been able to dislodge um 100 bees and baradactyl just has to stay tucked away because of the sniper you know trip boy other players are just sending these kind of probing soldier bombs marmalu goes all the way through gets behind should find yike here so at least that's a little bit of exchange. Uh, yay for Yosh. Marmalou coming back towards his team through IT. Yeah, but, that's uh, super crucial there. Five players oh, still for 100 bees. This is all yeah, Marmalou nice. here. Getting through, finding that opening into choke, and now Ooh. creating chaos on mid. That means oh. Ford can get through choke. Yeah, he just barely misses getting on that uh, right-hand health pack at mid. And I think if he had, Ford Gaming would have probably committed to that. But they were kind of hesitant. They were like worried about a flank play there. You think they yeah. should have pushed there? What, what's your thoughts, Benny? Do you think the pulling back is a correct play? From Ford, I think they should have committed. They had they had a uh, hundred B stuck in sewer, four or four and a demo. They had already popped. Sandblast was already Ooh. in on mid. He could have cut them off, but they're just gonna bring it in now. And the bomb's coming forward. Four or four's caught. He needs to die. And look at bot mode trying to fight this at choke with 80 HP. One good shot could end oh. it for him. So Bear. much damage. Bear is Bear. living. Bot yeah, somehow just finally alive. dying. Oh. That's yeah. exactly what wow. they need there. That's a full wipe. Barodactyl just insane dodging there. Right around the corner, it's just a sliver of health. But huge plays by Sandblast, huge plays by Ford Gaming. They get the cap here. But uh, yep. really, the Uber advantages haven't, uh, you know, it's not that yeah. much of a difference. The Uber's going to be negligible once again. But uh, yeah, Ford needs to. They need to calm their, you know, their role here. They they did have a great push there, but their advantage really isn't that big. And we've seen them squander advantages three times this size. So mm -hmm. I think if they go in on this, we could see another disastrous push with a counter pop coming right out of 404.
They need to find kills here. Yeah, it needs to go quick. That window's just uh, getting slimmer and slimmer. 15%. 4-4 tucked away safely in the secret all the way. He's just a few percentage points away. Pressure coming in. He's got it now. Trip boy on the point. Marmalu hiding behind in secret. But Hunter Beasts looking Wait to push forward here. Marmalu does run pain train. So if he can get on this point for just a few seconds, Showstopper is there waiting for him. And now it's a 1v1. Marmalu oh, hits Marmalu the can't hit the it was almost a mirror of the last push that happened. Psy overextends, gets killed alone, then they roll through lobby, get those picks, and now they have their momentum into mid because Psy's not holding the choke. Yeah, so Ford Gaming backing up. Three They're... minutes on the clock. This is actually where 100B thrives and mm -hmm. where Ford has crumbled. In their Sunshine match, this was almost identical to what happened. The time was low and Ford just couldn't stand their ground. They're conceding another point for no reason. They have Uber advantage, they can't drop there. They pop the Uber, 404 caught a choke, needs to die. Yeah, he's got 80% here. Trip boy right on a top trip, of him, can't win by the rocket. Oh. Okay, finally he does. Right before 404 could make it in the sewer. They're still fighting over there. They get Ash as well. Trip boy goes down, but that's a white for the beast. And once again, Fort Gaming going to have an advantage here. Two players spawning in this forward spawn, but uh, I actually have a few other players spawn here. They managed nope. to deny it. Back spawn. Bot mode spawn though. These traps are gonna be crucial. But what's gone wrong every time here is that Ford doesn't lock out onto rollout, so 100B gets through. He's watching these traps. Got to be very careful here. Traps still on the point. They spot it all. All right. Bot mode's not going to be getting a trap kill. They need to be building, though. Yeah. They can be sure that 4-4 uh, that four four will be. They've been doing a pretty good job of trying to close that distance, but the percentages have just not worked out for them. Right now, it's a little bit larger of a window, so they're trying to move in here. They got Sandblast, they got Sai, they got everybody. They're going to come in through the doors. Sandblast pushing forward, Sai over the top here. He will get the situation. Side pressuring He's nest. all the way into heaven as well, trying to push them out. Sticky's still uh, covering the point here. Scout's trying to work on it. He pops it. It's it once again, so they're pushing forward, gaining back. Yosh and Trip Boy down. Oh, Marmalu with the crucial oh, pick. Oh, he gets 4-4. Four, four. Yes. And Sai's in Nest. This is the thing that Sai does. He hit some crazy pipes there, actually. But Sai being dead is not a great thing for them. But, I mean, bear with that Uber ad. Still no heals on second. I think they should go for this. Yeah, I mean, you have a minute and 20 left. You need to make things happen. If 100 beasts get established here... Oh, trips in completely alone. He cannot die. Mm, Sandblast eats some damage and choke. He's hesitant about it. They have the charge IT. here. They haven't been spotted. They're moving IT. Showstopper doesn't know yet. They're Sandblast. running lower. He, they went right underneath him. But 4-4 four is out through one. Showstopper's in upper IT. If they get this pick, this could be great for opening up into the last push. 40% ad. They have to be moving right now. Yeah, that ad. Whittling away, 25%, 20%. Trying to come in here with the scout and the soldier here. 404 once again in heaven. Percentage points away from it. Yo's trying to clear the stickies off the point. Sandblast as well. They've been able to drag this out, so they haven't popped the offensive Uber yet. It's coming out defensively now. Flashing on Ash. Jay getting soaked as well. They're aware that Marble is behind. They're not going to let him do any shenanigans. Only 30 seconds left. Side yeah, on the right side. Good damage on the scout. Big bomb comes from Trip. Sai needs to unload everything right now. The scout's on the point. They have a lot the of time here. They can do this. The pipe from Sai. Oh my god. Just get on the point, Bear. Yes. Oh, they did it. Bear, 10 seconds frick. left. Four takes a round. Wow. And they close out the half with 10 seconds left. So many back and forth. That's a 30 minute round right there. Haven't seen one of those since like I 46. Yeah, I, I was gonna, I was waiting until halftime to talk about that, um, but that is, that was some amazing stuff. 29 minutes, 50 second, first round in our first map tonight. We are off to quite the start. This is a barn burner. Ford Gaming pulling it off. We didn't have time to say it, but like earlier in the half, you know, when you were like mentioning, like, oh, this is like 100 beasts, like they pull off these like, you know, only a few minutes left on the clock. And it's like, you know, just the whole storyline here. You know, if Ford Gaming take it 30 minutes and they lose that round, uh, you know, you sort of feel like, well, what was the 30 minutes for, you know? Yeah. But they come out 1-0, then they're just like, yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know for sure. Up. Sandblast gets fired up in these sort of situations. I know they're all feeling good right now. They got to keep riding on that for sure. 
Um, but 100B are known for their wow. comebacks. So but that's a, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe I, were you, were you, I was looking at the stats. Are you going to get into some Haven't stats here? I haven't seen it yet. I'll take a look. Okay, yeah. The the big one there that, that stands out to me right away um, is uh, two deaths on on Baradactyl. Um, I think that's pretty insane. Um, that is insane. I th- you know. Actually, strangely enough, we scrimmed them the other day. We beat them 5-0, but Bear still had two deaths. So I guess he's just been, he's been surviving out there, no matter what happens, because we've seen yeah. some some insane back and forth there, and he's just always getting out. I think that's probably a big factor of what kept Ford in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, certainly. Uh, we're, we're checking out some of the other columns here. Marmalo putting a, a lot of deaths out there, throwing himself out there. 22, that's all right, that happens. Um, he, he is, you know, has been able to get more kills than either of the soldiers, 400 beasts though. So at the same time that he's, you know, dying a lot, he at least is staying pretty active. One of the yeah. other numbers, um, people threw out, uh, pointed out was, uh, Psy guy ending up with that, uh, DPM crown, um, in that first half. That's good. I would still like to see Psy locking down these chokes a bit more. Something that stands out to me though here is, um, mm-hmm. the scouts from Ford are both, um, well, I guess. Uh, all the scouts are positive, but the scouts from Ford with pretty amazing KDs oh, wow. at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I see And that I think now. that's really important. Sandblast is sort of the driving force of a lot of their team pushes. So the fact that he's going to be, um, you know, staying alive and ready for those pushes is probably a huge factor in what's keeping Ford in this as well. I'm mm-hmm. um, surprised to see Yosh with the frags. To be honest, he's usually not known for putting up big KDs. He's usually more of just, you know, a flank watcher, but... I guess he's been finding those openings and uh, probably closing out some of those weak 10 health players that 100B loves to have. Yeah, I'll have to pull out the direct logs myself, but I wonder if he's uh, basically sort of farming the soldiers because, you know, um, those 100 beast uh, soldiers do kind of like to fly around. Yeah, they certainly do. Um, you have any other kind of major major takeaways from that half? I mean, we had a lot of action, a lot of back and well, forth. I honestly, I think the Ford from a month ago would not have won that. So I think that they've really stepped up. Um, as I said earlier, I think they're playing their best right now. And mm-hmm. they had a lot of scary situations. I still think they could adapt a bit more to what's going on. But the fact that they closed out that round and brought it back from the brink so many times is a, a you know a big testament to their improvement recently and how seriously they've been preparing for this. Um mm-hmm. But there is still that one mistake they keep making. Do you recall what it is? Uh, you just, I don't it's know. the pushes into last, like <laughs> oh, four yeah. get Uber every single yeah. time. And yeah, that should be that should be right on the top of their mind right now. They cannot keep doing that because that's just asking to get counter popped and wiped, and yeah. that's going to throw away all of their progress. And we we saw a few attempts of it. Do you think that the majority of those? were you know issues with the, the pace that they actually you know were like missed a you know a second of of movement uh or were they actually you know like they were just they were just late and they should have just pulled back and gone for a sack instead yeah i mean they have two options either go sooner because some of those were 60 percent ads which it's mm-hmm. almost inexcusable that the other team's gonna get uber there i mean it happens to us as well you know we're just wasting our time i think uh yeah. the alternative is if they just get in and they're not getting kills they need to recognize it and call the push off because, um, you know, they're even a bit slow to destroy the sentry. And then by the time they're even like starting to look to find 404, he's already at 95%. So they need to, yeah, they need to just call it off or get in sooner. Those are really their only two options. Cause if they keep doing what they're doing now, 100B is going to be happy to counter pop and roll through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good credit though to 100B as well because no one's getting caught in those ubers they're all surviving until the counter pop comes out but uh second half coming in 1-0 for ford a strong uh way to close that first half but in a way this is kind of a, a mental reset for everyone and one round is not a very considerable lead so 100b could bring this back yeah certainly that one round lead could disappear within two minutes oh nice damage on showstopper they get the first shot on him can't find a He's ton so of weak. Yeah, super weak can't find a ton of follow-up he is going to be able to survive get an arrow uh, and a second one. Board gave me a little slow of the gates on this mid-fight. Not going left or right. Just trying to play across the point here. Um, Tripoy uh, sliding across the point. He gets a decent damage, but Ash will find the kill on him. 
Uh, some of the beasts are kind of weak here. Now it's Showstopper jumping over the top. We'll get Yosh. Just Ash, the only player down for 100 beasts. Although now they lose Showstopper. So Ford Gaming, a little bit quicker with the Uber charge here. I don't know if they realize it though. Uh, Marmal oh, is thinking about it. This. Yeah, yeah, they call it off, thankfully. Yeah, Man. He, he... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Finds two pipe kills in Sewer. Sewer's definitely a risky spot to be there in the post Uber. Or, sorry, the post mid fight. And now they're bleeding three people. It looks like Trips caught in. Actually, they're going for this exchange. This is very risky. But they're standing their ground. Yeah, right now, nothing quite happening. That Trip Boy may be going to go forward in exchange. He's looking for JJ. Very low, but still surviving here. Trip Boy will get jumped on by a couple of soldiers. Yosh getting taken out as well. I, you know, I almost feel like if you showed the first 45 seconds of this, first minute of this uh, half, and you said that 100 Beasts um, one three zero, people would have believed you. Um, Definitely. But uh, Ford Gaming right now need to turn it back on. There are backs up against the wall suddenly. Yeah, that was, it was a good hold by them. They they uh, found that fast pick over near five entrance and uh, got that kill. So 100 B, you're gonna call it off. They are gonna spawn up a sniper here, but yeah, there were a lot of, um, yeah, yeah, some sloppiness, right? Yeah, some sloppiness there. Those two people getting picked after mid and then they stay in, but then Sai left early. So Trip, who did a ton of damage to that scout, ends up getting double bombed on top of the point, but Sai's already at last. So he kind of gets left out to dry. So they kind of, uh, they staggered uh, two players twice in a row, and that could have been a disaster. They hold on to it. Now they're, uh, you know, holding this last, but they're up against the sniper here. Jay doing the wide peek through one. Ash dies. Oh, Sai finds him. Nice. <laughs> nice uh, kills. Yosh yeah. will get the finish there on the uh, sniper, but uh, Ash going down as well. So Fort Gaming, look at the counter aggress here. They have Marble out on Battlements. The stair push from underneath does kind of get stuck. Yosh rotates around. Gets a look, but can't quite stay out there. Showstopper taking an arrow heal. As Yite trying to push from underneath, will get a kill on Trip Boy. Thinking about yeah. up, to back Bot mode was just standing on the point, spamming. He probably did about 600 damage there, just spamming into those entrances in lobby. They uh, Ford probably needed someone to get in through a different entrance. They were all in lobby, and they just got completely denied. Yeah, and Trip Boy will be respawning here, so the Beast might have missed a little bit of opportunity there. Jay, though, getting the snipe on Sai. And he's still in on rollout. Oh, Yosh getting nice. showstopper. Trip Boy has gone down. Marmalu fighting in um, oh, rollout. Will pressure bot mode. Yeah, they're getting kills there. They dropped a few players. Ubercharge is being exchanged, but 4 4 has to back up. Oh, you got to keep it going, Sandblast. You just got yeah. three picks. He's rotating back. Wasting a few seconds here, which could be crucial as Jay is spawning, or he's on sniper still. They needed as much early pressure as possible. Showstopper coming in through IT. Gonna come up from behind. They're losing Marmalu. I think this is going to be bad for Ford. Yeah, Yosh taking some damage as well. Showstopper tracks him down and does get the kill there. And uh, Chipboy will get out through rollout, but those players are weak. Yike trying to chase there. It's six players up. Just Size go trying to push meet here. them head on in five. Oh, they get through clean. Size kind of alone. Showstopper's dead. The sniper is hitting headshots though. Ash takes a lot of damage. As a Yank coming in, Jay, uh -oh. two more kills, though. He's gotten Baradactyl. He can't get the close a point blank kill on Marmaluke. Marmaluke gets Jay, but still only two players up for four gaming. Yosh trying to do as much dodging as he can. Sai guy down to 40 health. He gets taken out. Yeah, that was, it was just continuous aggression there from 100B. They managed to get those spawners in on second, found picks, and then just chased it into last. Two headshots out of Jay. But really, Sai tried to meet them head on. He piped a scout, but that scout didn't get cleaned up. If that scout dies, there's no scouts on 100B, and Ford probably can hold that. They needed to support Sai there. Oh, Sai with a very fast rollout, but then ends up taking a rock to the face. We'll also get an arrow, though, as Ash coming in for the big bomb. Right now, it does get a little bit of damage on Baradactyl. Baradactyl's also got Bob mode looking at him. He gets the kill. Bob it's going to be an all in from down. Ford now. Their med just went down. Marmalu jumps across. That scout's going to die. They're all in the choke. Sandblast on the chase, Showstopper gets arrowed. They gotta call it off now. Sai's not there, and Sandblast dies. Marmaluke's yeah. trying to go into sewer. Since 4-4 doesn't have the Uber, there's still a chance that Marmaluke can find this kill. He's, oh, he gets mm. stuffed out. Yeah, Jay spotted him, good heads up uh, from him. Showstopper going for the flank on Marmaluke. Marmaluke actually able to jump out over to the uh, left-hand IT health pack. Yeah, and, it's uh, only one to one, up. though.
Ford needs to recognize this match isn't over. They don't need to fight, you know, taking on these insane risks. They can slow this down again. If they if they let this get away from them and turn too chaotic, 100B will thrive in that situation. So it's good that they cut their losses there and backed out. Yeah, right now the Beasts are pressuring through IT. 404 coming in on a low ground. Showstopper has made his way through. Um, choke, 404 takes a lot of damage. No very way risky he didn't pop there. that. Yeah, That's insane. Oh, he's 2 oh. HP! <laughs> I yeah. cannot believe they didn't get that force. But Bear, look at the health, man. All these people are like 20 HP. Bear's gonna get the Uber, but at this point, they gave oh, up too much room. Man. Yeah, 404 did the math on that one. I was like, ah, that damage drop or distance drop off on the rocket. I'll be all right. Insane stuff from him as they're looking to push in here with this Uber charge. The defensive Uber has been used by Baradactyl. Just soaking it on Jay for the, uh, for the beast. Ash is up in heaven. The demo man is there as well. Sandblast is going to be the first one uh, down. Marmalou jumping in. He gets cleaned up by Yite. The beasts are all over the place. Trip Boy with the high bomb. He gets the kill on Ash. Still bombing around. It's another kill. Another just too many players. That's two rounds in seven minutes. A lot different than the first mm -hmm. half here. And uh, I think Bear has died the same amount as he did in the first half as well. Yeah, if if not more. We'll see if they can get their formation, their composure back together. Slow things down a bit here. Again, nice rollout from Psy Guy. Marmalou has to back up off containers. So no one really kind of controlling high ground yet. Tripwise bomb gets kind of uh, awkwardly stuffed. Marmalou down. They have gotten Showstopper. Pressure in on the ground. There was a good arrow heal there. 404 takes some shots, but he survives. Baradactyl down in the meantime. Yo's Ash, trying to push forward, but not going to happen. Oh, a bomb in here from... Oh, Psy guy Psy. did get him. The clutch from Psy. Salvage is that. Kills 404. Yeah, Yosh getting kind of pushed out by Jay, though. Jay wants to keep the pressure on. It was looking really good early on, actually, for Ford. They they had a um, good distraction bomb from their soldiers, and the rest of them pushed straight across the point there. But as they crossed the point, Bear went down. It kind of forced them to go all in there. 4-4 tends to be very, like... He reads that situation pretty early, and he's ready to leave. He's very far back. Mm -hmm. So whenever Bear dies, you can expect 404 will already be kind of tucked away. Um, it makes it very hard for Ford to uh, yeah, win these situations, but that clutch from side does give them a chance here. It's only 2-1, to one, one round difference here, 20 minutes to work with. But if this round drags out, then you know Ford's going to be feeling some pressure to tie this back up. Yeah, down 2-1. At least things have slowed down a little bit more, but the beasts were just waiting for their uh, uber charge, so we should be seeing some aggression from them shortly. Yep, yep. they're just taking their time, thinking about what they want to do. Looks like Jay's running all the way back to spawn, so we're going to see a sniper or a spy most likely here. Um, sniper has uh -huh. been working for him. Um, he hit a couple headshots earlier in this match, so I think, yeah, they're, they're fine with just slowing this down. Um, last time that they ran this, Marmalu was the one that found the opening. He jumped behind, he got that kill in IT, and then killed the sniper. So we'll see if Marmalu can be the one to, uh, yeah, counter this sniper play once again. Yeah, he's going to be going through sewer here, which is just the nice and slow, but uh, a great angle to snipe from. Yeah, body shot on Desai already. Marmalu jumping forward. He's a big mm. body shot, super weak. Nice from Trip. Forces the sniper, uh, or kills him, um, forces him to die. <laughs> yeah, Marmalou uh, getting some arrow heals. He's looking to maybe pressure through IT here. Does actually get some uh, quick skip through. Trying to get on top of the container. He gets the health back here more time, but not enough damage. I would have liked to see a little comfy. bit more pressure from the rest of Ford there as their soldier mm -hmm. gets in that deep. Because that probably would have created some opening, some space to do some extra damage. Who knows, maybe a straight projectile from Choke hits 404 and he does force that. Right, right. And uh, pressure here as Ash kind of jumps over to Suicide, just kind of trying to spread things out here a bit. Showstopper is, what, or sorry, was working through IT, but has backed up here. The Beast look like they're going to uh, maybe just work Jay, Jay back here up again. on Sniper. They spotted it. Yeah. Yeah, Bear maybe had his uh, head exposed for a split second there, but backs it up now. Marmalou killed as he jumps jump forward here. 
some stickies at the feet here of um, Sewer, but probably not enough. Jay getting out here. Bold plays by him. Will be able to get the kill on Trip Boy. Oh, they narrowly get out through one before getting sniped. Oh, and Showstopper through rollout. We'll find Sandblast. They still got to worry about Jay, though. He's going to peek again. Bot mode pressuring from rollout. Oh, he's actually going to eat pipes from side. This is potentially a pop through situation here. Oh, Mamu jumps behind. Oh, he goes too early. Too early. If they would have peeked upper first, Mamu could jump through. That would that would have been a great push. Yeah, he got completely stomped down by Yite there. Jay continuing to look for the snipe here. Had a beat on Trip Boy, but not quite able to get that shot. Jay now working the shutter side. Yep, Sai Guy has been peeking that, so he's got to be very careful not to overextend. Counter sniper from Yosh. Other players there as well. They're working their demo man in close. Trip Boy training on, trading on rollout. Sai Guy trying to get some traps over there on that side. But it looks like they'll back up and rotate. Yep, Jay 100 BR in no hurry here. They can just sit on their lead, honestly. Peek it up. Put that pressure on with the sniper and the score. So. Yeah, just trying to get in. Won't quite find uh, Marmalou, though. So they will back up a bit. Side guy put some traps in um, rollout. And looking for Jay, but. Under 18 minutes left on the second half of our first map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, earlier we had a scrim against Ford, and uh, Yomps actually sniped the majority of that scrim, and I think 100B, and it worked quite well, and I think 100B is starting to realize that maybe they can do the same. Sniping is uh, seemingly pretty effective here against uh, Ford. really puts them in an uncomfortable oh. position. Yeah, Jay, though, you know, at some point as a sniper, you just go a little bit crazy. He just rolls all the way out from rollout, looks for that angle, gets taken out. Yeah, um, and now counter sack comes in from Marmalou. He's getting completely juggled. Mm. The Ash goes down low. Showstopper was low earlier. If they could have found that second pick, you know, it would have been good for them. But, uh, yeah, they're kind of struggling. Sai kind of caught in one. Showstopper's looking like he kind of wants to do something with that information. Sai's got to be very careful not to give up his life here. And Jay's on Sniper again for the third life in a row or so here. Yeah, he's trying to work from Lobby. Right now, the uh, sentry gun will actually get spammed down by Ash, so that's a nice little pickup. Yo's trying to rebuild it on the point here. Psy guy trying to, uh, or sorry, that was Trip Boy trying to get into Lobby. Psy, I guess, a little bit as well. Marmalou over on the side here. Put some damage in the Showstopper. No kill, though. Jay's just going to start rotating until he finds that shot. And Ford, I don't know, they can't sit here forever. That's the one thing. They don't want to, you know, make a mistake. There's still 16 minutes, but if they give Jay infinite tries, you know, it's going to it's gonna work eventually, I feel like. So they, uh, they eventually need to make something happen off this pick that they get in lobby or go for an exchange, something. Yeah. Right now, just um, in lobby, chilling out. Trip boy, thrown around in air. Headshot on a Marmalou. Mm. Trip goes down, Marmalou goes down. Five HP on the sniper. Yeah, he gets an arrow though. Now he pokes his head out here again. And uh, Sentry, yeah, doing a pretty decent job though. Locking things down, oh. but Yosh will go down to bot mode. Yike getting traded out this here is as all well with three side. players down. Sai to has to oh, never mind. Sai's <laughs> yeah. good. <laughs> Caster's curse, Betty. Welcome to the booth. Ooh, Uber nice charge play, is though. coming out here, though. Yeah, Sandblast going for the pistols on bot mode. Bot mode will get flashed here, um, and then kind of into some trouble oh, here. Kill but bot mode. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's staying alive for now. Oh, the Sandblast coming from behind. 404 left. That's the what they from need Yosh. there. And they know where Yite is. He's in lobby, so the back cap is not a threat right now. Oh yeah, he's gonna get cleaned up. Nice. If they can deny 404 and bot mode, this would be huge. They gotta stack this point. Three seconds, they can deny four spawners, and they do it. It's only Showstop, and he's leaving. Extended the spawns, in fact, on four or four. So this mid is going for four. Uh -huh. They're back in the driver's seat on this round. Great hold there. I mean, it was looking terrible. They dropped four people, but then Sandblast finds the exchange, gets that drop onto Showstopper. 
forces a lot of flashing, and then bot mode kind of gets overextended. So it worked out for Ford in the end. Um, great job to capitalize on that momentum for two caps here. Yeah, you, you really can't have a better push out of last than that, getting second, mid, and then ending up with a large Uber advantage going into last, or going yeah, into second, yeah. And we know they need that large Uber advantage. Let's see what happens this time. 4-4 already at 70. Look at Ash down to 20 HP. And they're just sitting back. They need to call yeah. this off. This is too late. They've squandered this advantage. But now they can set up for a sack play. Something coordinated, maybe a sniper play. But uh, I hate that hesitation, man. Yeah. I mean, they still have mid, but, you know, it's a consolation. And right now, since they're down 2-1... Yeah, they don't really have a whole lot of time for that, you know. Um, as we've seen this this map, these teams can get slowed down, and hopefully they don't have to worry about the clock too much. We'll have to see. Yep, I think they've got plenty of time to work with here. We're gonna see their first attempt now as they go into IT with both soldiers. Showstoppers spotting that from upper. Meanwhile, we have a scout near sewer might try to do something sneaky mm -hmm. here. Yeah, Trip Y uh, takes uh, quite a bit of damage there, so he goes down. Yeah, he's trying to come through here, but uh, he gets shoved away, so they've got that eye on IT. The uh, Beast kind of rotating in a choke here. Uh, a soldier is bombing through here. Good shot on Veridactyl. Not going to be enough, though. Showstopper goes down. Ash actually cleaned up at the same time by Marmalo, so two players down here. Not the intent of that sack. Mm, yeah, that's great from, from forward to get those two picked. But this is, they just got to go for this exchange. Don't hesitate. Marmalu bombing over the top here again. Um, oh, that's his, oh, dropping two. This is great for them. Now it's just a demo over bot mode. Can't hit these miracle pipe. As long as they don't get piped down. Oh, he's committing. Yeah, he's been watching too many Habib demos trying to take this Uber. Uh, yeah, don't want to lose lost. Psy guy there. They are able to keep uh, all five players up that were in combat alive. Their last player, Marmalu, respawning here. So this is a great opportunity here. Two players coming up here for Beast. Bot mode still five seconds, so they know that there's no stickies. Though... He's going to spawn in time. They just need to go for kills here. Just yeah. get kills. That's all you need to do. And Sandblast will put a little bit of time on the point here. Just about a third of it. And that is Trip Boy oh, being Marmalu thrown into the, the air. 4 4 now down, play Showstopper the heels. down. Play the heels. Scouts on the point, they get a lot of time here. Right now, Sandblast still fighting against Jay. They've killed they've Jay, two players up. They've there got it, it. Tied up with less than 12 minutes on the clock. 2-2. Two, two. Amazing push from Ford there. They find the kills they need, and they just they just play the heals, get that point bait, and then focus fire. That's clean right there. Yeah, that's a big confidence boost as well. Losing two rounds kind of sloppily at the start of this mid, or the start of this half. And then running that back from last point to last point. But it's a new mid underway right now. Bot mode sort of playing left a little bit um, by himself, but switches over to point here. Big bomb in, a high bomb in from Showstopper, but he doesn't get anything from it. Ash, Ash also. Ball, well, completely floated. Sai needs help here. Hits a pipe. Yeah, kind of weak as well. Tone around. Poor for oh, get a kill on Trip Wyatt there. Jay pretty lit. Yeah, pushing him out from Choke. Three players from four gaming do get away. Yeah, those trades, man, that was so close. If if Sandblast doesn't die to Ash as he's levitated there, that mid goes for forward because yeah. then he's going to be in position to follow up on size pipes. But uh, here we are, tied situation. 100B in possession of middle. They've got the spy. Let's see if they're going to be prepared for this. Um, Showstopper has been known to go spy, and Ford have been known to check it, but I don't think they've checked it quite yet. Um, they're probably expecting the sniper, if anything. So we'll see if their yeah. paranoia will uh, will kick in here. Certainly, the uh, you know one of the biggest boosts to the spy's capabilities. The element of surprise bear almost backs into him. Almost backs into him. Almost backs into him. Oh. He's still there in biz. Yeah, they uh, need a distraction for showstopper. So we're gonna see them probably just keep peeking sewer here. Look at bot mode trying to get some some eyes towards him. Ash jumping forward, just trying to turn him. And now Spot. he's coming in behind. He's on to He gets the backstab. Marmalu, but it's two for two. Two for three. Oh, yeah. and the force. It's only Sandblast and Yosh surviving this. But I think they need to just live. Yeah, if they can live and get this capture, you know, at the end of the day, that play works out. You know, um, they will have a slight charge advantage here going into last. We got three players coming up in forward spawn at the same time as those other spawners um, come up. 
And again, you know, at this top level of uh, TF2, you just see that, you know, a lot of a lot of work for one point sometimes. You get that advantage and then you hold on to it, you kind of reset, and you try to get another advantage. We'll see if the Beast can do so. Less than 10 minutes in the second half of our first map, score tied up 2-2. Two -two. Yep, and they're getting aggressive in lobby, but I think they're gonna call that off. Um, and they're just gonna go on this ad. It's a 20% ad. We've never seen uh, Ford successfully push last with that much, and I don't even think 100B's gonna risk it. I think they know better. So yeah. they're gonna slow this down, go for their sacks, go for their sniper again, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, they can uh, drop four players and not lose. Drop four players on Ford and not lose the push still, but yeah. You know, they're trying to slowly work their way in here through uh, lobby. Yeah, the one player kind of on the side. Showstopper has gotten killed, though, over by door number five on the left-hand side of the defense. Sandblast, um, you know, doesn't dodges an arrow and then calls for another arrow. He should yeah. be getting support in lobby here. He's kind of alone. He's trying to go for a cheeky shot, climbing up on this machinery. Might hit a body shot on this soldier or a scout upper IT. Now, Benny, you, you've been known to play some engineer, and we got uh, NG main Sigafu in chat saying, "Move that sentry gun back a little bit." What do you What do you think about that position and that gun where it is on the? Point? Um, I'm actually a fan of of this sentry. I think it's it's uh, pretty good because it's it covers every side if a soldier bombs in. So your medic is relatively safe if he's playing forward here, which mm -hmm. it seems they prefer to keep their heels relatively forward. If you were just trying to uh, waste time of an Uber, and uh, you know, you're just going to cycle off anyways. Um, sentry being s further back is probably a bit better just because it doesn't risk your NG getting picked. But in this situation, I like the sentry. Um, I think I think they're doing fine. It, yeah. it covers, you know, all the lobby doors and, uh, yeah, and if anyone bombs from the right as well. Yeah, Sandblast did get a little snipe in there, um, but, you know, not much happening just at that one defensive pick. Jay on the sniper as well. Seven minutes on the clock now. They'll just kind of let's see what they can find here before they just go for an exchange. Jay speaking roll out. Ooh, body shot on his side, down to 28 health. Yeah, so the beast again just trying to enable Jay. He's worked in a lobby now. Gets a shot off before some splash coming in. Ash takes a little bit of damage. But Marmalou will kind of shove him back. Mmm, Sandblast getting sniped. Yeah, Sandblast headshotted him first, down to 3 HP, but then he gets healed up. And, uh, gets the, the next shot. Trade onto Ash with Trip. But now Jay's peeking rollout completely uncontested! Finds a shot on the engine oh. model. Oh no, they've done it again! They've dropped four players! Oh, there goes Sly as well. It's the exact same situation! But this time, <laughs> Sandblast and Bear are pinned. Yeah, Bear has Bear. popped first. Bear just crouched down on the ground, just hiding for a second there. This is a decent overcharge exchange. They get two Best players sniper, respawning though. here. Still in rollout. Sandblast still holding down. They've lost Marmalou, but they get the kill on bot mode on the Devilman. That's crucial. They've lost Barodactyl. There goes Sandblast. There goes Trip. Yosh on the heavy weapons guy. Not going to be able to do it. And 100 beasts have forced Ford Gaming. They got six minutes to, to half to tie it up here. Three to two the score. Yeah. You know, I said earlier the first half, the, the Ford of, you know, a month ago wouldn't would not have won it, but honestly, in this situation, if they had Patty, I know Patty's gonna call that exchange into lobby, and I think that Ford keeps hesitating on that. There's five people in lobby and a sniper. They can get such a great exchange there, but they seem to have forgotten what their master taught them. On to this next mid, though. Lots of pressure. We see uh, Trip already in IT. Lots of pressure on the roof. Good damage. This soldier needs to die. Showstopper goes down. Bot mode 30 HP. He goes down. Real bear survive. Yeah, Ash was in a little bit of trouble as well, but two players were pushing back on Marmalou. At the same time though, Ford Gaming, they'll continue to just get frags here. They want to keep the tempo up and get a free second here. Uh, maybe a frag on Jay. Jay getting out through lobby though. Yeah, I would have liked to see them catch Jay there. That would have been a great pick because then they would still have kept their uh, two picks here. But 100B is peaking lobby. If they go for this, this could throw the round. That's what Ford wants, certainly, but um, five minutes. Marmalou already in rollout. He commits. On to 404. Oh! No, nope, doesn't really hit him too much. No, it was a good yeah. opening, but you need more pressure. He's just solo sacking into six, and now they're going to start turtling this up. Yeah, four and a half minutes on the clock here. 
board game. You're going to have to do something here. Showstopper on the defensive sniper, just watching from stairs, looking for an angle. Yep. I don't think they're going to be anticipating this. He might find a, a shot here. Uh, Marmon Lou on the spy, probably just checking things. Yeah, Yosh was all the way back there. Yosh is going to come up on the sniper. They've said, okay, well, they have a sniper. Probably, well, probably saw the engineer as well. Yep. Putting it on this sniper. Snipers, you know, sometimes it does take a few minutes to get this pick. So with four minutes on the clock, a lot is riding on Yosh's ability to hit these shots here. They now know he's on sniper, so he loses that element of surprise. We're going to see 100B adjusting, moving their heels up to the front here. Which can make 404 a bit exposed here to, uh, um, you know, some spam from the side. I'd love to see Sai try to get over to 5 and see if he can throw some pipes into that massive cluster of people around that dispenser. Yeah, no counter snipe right now. Bot mode pokes his head around. Oh, Very this is the exchange. But somehow, but it's, Yosh. It's just for the scouts. Yeah. Bear is out of there, but they cannot let 100B in for free. Nice. They're holding their ground. The off classes from Yite. Uh, means that they aren't gonna have enough momentum to push. Oh, the goes down! The trap from side. This is exactly what they need. They have a 70% ad. They should just wait for Sandblast. They can afford to wait a couple more seconds. No traps on the doors, no traps on the point. They need to get in, destroy that sentry, and then find kills. That is what they need to do here. They're gonna be moving through lobby, and they're ready to go. This is it. The Uber comes in. They're in through four. Sentry's going down. And they're going all the way onto the point. They're getting tons That's of time. Oh. And they get it. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Bot mode not alive, so the point's not trapped. The sentry goes down. It's wide open. And they just cap it with times four cap time. Both scouts. So now we've got a tied game. Four players alive when the point goes down. I, I remember a mo memorable moment on process with a team losing. And you never want to lose on process when you still have players alive at all. Bot mode flying through the air. He will be able to get some kills here. Joe Stopper trying to work out right hand side. He will find Marmalou. The game oh, tied up, but right dead. now they the need beast to run. getting frags. Sai's gonna die as well. They need to run all the way to last. Two oh no, two here. minutes on the clock. This is where 100B thrives though. They're always trying to make absolute miracles happen with low time. And look at them all pressuring into last. Ash is committing. Spawns are up though. Oh. They don't have second yet. Jay is on the cap. That cap is not available. A headshot goes out on the showstop. No! Oh. Wow, Ash with the rotation gets Sandblast and Baradactyl. Two other players going down here. Oh. The bees have the Uber charge here. Five seconds for respawners. They're what, all over it. What 100B Yo, should do is not cap this. They should run the clock down a little bit more because this is still technically possible, but Ash cannot be allowed to find those kills in that spawn. They needed to get out of the spawn and get positioning and get vision of everything that's going on. Um, Sniper to mid. This is potentially a throw. Yeah, we'll see. That's an interesting uh, decision here when there's a minute 20 left on the clock here. They're rolling out through IT. This is a very unconventional mid. Jay is sniping back and choke. Soldier in sewer. Bot mode's committed here. Your boy jump bombing across. He will get taken out here. The follow up bombs here, but 404. Good dodging. Showstopper taken out in sewer. That's not going to happen. 45. A beast backing up, though. The flank around. Okay, 404 is dead. Down. Sai, Sai is going to die, though. Yeah, Jay will Jay get the is snipe still on full him. health, and he's going to peek in this. 100B is committing here. 50 seconds on the clock here. Jay looking for the snipes around. 40 seconds. Uh, no! Oh! Well, that seals the deal. It's gonna be, um, yeah, the match. Four to three, or first map goes to 100B. You know, sometimes an hour of TF2 can just be summed up with a few words, and that's like J Sniper, I guess, right? Like, I suppose. There, there was, there was other stuff going on, but I mean, he definitely played a major factor in some of these key moments here. That's yeah. Trip Boy getting gunned down. Trip started having a pretty rough second half there. He was the first death on, I think, uh, pretty much all the, the recent mids. Uh, but Bru Ford needs to just brush that one off because at the end of the day, that's 100B's map pick. So the fact yeah. that they kept it that close, they need to come out with a win on their map pick and then take it to the third map. Um, that's what it's going to be. Gully yeah. Wash is, is kind of... Uh, Ford's got to bring it all the way through Metalworks and then Gully Wash. They got to brush this one off.
Yeah, and you know, certainly, you know, if you feel like it's not your strongest map, you know, it's the enemy's map, it's a little bit easier to like brush some of that stuff off. You know, that is like classic TF2 of everything going so well for so long. And then all of a sudden, you know, in the first, I don't know, was it five minutes of that second half, they lost two rounds, you know? Like, there's just mental focus is so important in this game. Yeah, absolutely. That that round when there was only two minutes left, I feel like, yeah, that, that was a real test. That's exactly what happened to them on Sunshine yeah. early, early in the season. They just had two minutes on the clock, and 100B is just going to go for it. They have a lot less to lose because... The chances of Ford running that all the way back from their last to the other side is pretty low. So they're just going to go all in. People are going to take those risks. And yeah, Ford just crumbles underneath it. Yeah, yay and 404, low deaths, 4 and 6. Um, while uh, Baradactyl picking up 8, which is still, you know, pretty solid for um, a full uh, 30 minutes pretty much. But, um, you know, just... Crazy stuff all around. Uh, 20 frags to Jay, 20 frags to Yite, 18 to bot mode. Nice stuff there. Yeah, that's... That's... Uh, the scouts, again, I think they answered back that half. The scouts from 100B stepping up, though. I guess Jay didn't, mm -hmm. uh, maybe didn't spend as much time on scout. He was sniping quite a bit. 11 headshots to his name. And... Uh, yeah, Ford, they they survived the sniper push once, but after that, it was kind of, it was very successful. They they really didn't have the right answer to it. Yeah, it seems like Sai yeah, didn't have as successful the second half as well. In that first half, you know, he didn't quite frag as hard as bot mode, but uh, their stats were really similar with Sai Guy taking an edge in the um, damage. But uh, for the second half, you got... Bot mode with 310 DPM compared to Psy Guy's 230. And um, bot mode also having, you know, a 1.5 KD versus a, a flat one. So a bit of a difference there. Yeah. Looking at the mids also, like who won the most mids. In the second half, um, 100B, they won five of the seven mids. So it was, yeah. um, and that last one hardly even counts for uh, Ford's favor. So it was essentially five out of the six mids in the second half. Um, if Ford could have just started off a bit stronger on the mids, I think it, it really would have uh, gone a long way for them. Mm -hmm. They, they kept losing that first pick. It would be trip or Marmalou. And uh, from there, hundred B just managed to stabilize really well. Um, they'd find that pick and then no one else would, would uh, trade or anything. They just all live. And it was just, yeah, it slowly fell away from Ford yeah. on the mids. Those are the important things that uh, add up, right? Yeah, and just those moments, man, where people in 100B are living with 20 health or less. It's it's painful to watch just because I've been there. When we played against them on process, it was very similar. And uh, it was something we really had to go out of our way to focus on. Um, you know, when we played them in the upper bracket final is that like these people need to get punished. They can't be allowed to get away with that because 4 4 mm. is ready with those arrows really, really quick. So it's got to be like a full full team effort to clean those players up. It can't just be, you know, shrugged off and uh, trusting that one other person is going to do it for you. It's it's really got to be on everyone's mind all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, just to kind of add into the analysis earlier, uh, kind of surprising. I mean, he did have six deaths on Sniper. So actually, you know, in regards to his deaths, Jay spending more time on Sniper than Scout. Um, six deaths versus four deaths. Um, but uh, also sort of surprising that he was able to eke out 12 kills. So Jay really only eight and four on the Scout and uh, 12 and six on the uh, Sniper. Yeah. Yeah, that was Only definitely a big factor. Four. Yeah. Metalworks has similar opportunities as well. They're, you can definitely slow it down and run Sniper, so um, probably expecting a similar game, though I do think um, Ford are going to be a bit stronger on Metalworks. Uh, their mids, I think, will be a little bit better, um, which definitely would have helped them in this map. So I'm thinking Metalworks will be... Um, I mean, I don't know if a match can get closer than that, to be honest, but I think Ford yeah. will have, uh, you know, 
an equally good chance at least. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, my prediction has gone out the window because I thought Ford would 2-0. Uh, there were moments <laughs> where I thought it was going to play out, but we're going for, uh, I guess, the 2-1 at this point, but we'll see. Yeah, certainly. I mean, Ford have put up uh, a strong fight. You know, at the end of the day, though, uh, as we mentioned in the intro, this is an elimination match. You know, this is the lower bracket finals, so the losing team here will be third place. The um, other team will have an opportunity to uh, take on Froyotech in the grand finals, which we'll have to see what that other team is. But uh, somebody asking in the chat, you know, when is the grand finals? We were chatting in the cast, so I mean, obviously we have to wait, you know, to hear about the other team. But, um, Banny, you guys are, are looking to play that tomorrow, potentially? Yep, our goal is to play tomorrow. I have, uh, you know, shortly after we qualified for the grand finals, we checked with both ford and 100b if they'd be good to play it for thursday and they both said yes so i think that's the plan at the moment um we certainly want to i think the general like uh consensus among the teams is kind of just you know get the playoffs done in a timely fashion um after LAN was canceled uh we just kind of wanted to yeah get it over with and look to the future i guess um mm -hmm. In previous, you know, uh, years with like ESEA, the playoffs can drag on. You do like one match a week, and people are always trying to reschedule. So I appreciate that RGL is keeping people on uh, on pace to get these matches done and give people, you know, some back-to-back uh, -back nights of good matches. Yeah, certainly. We even have uh, some of the other divisions as well. Uh, Team Fortress TV. They covered the uh, advanced grand finals, um, which kicked off a little bit before ours. So I was watching some of that. I know that we got some of their viewers. Um, shout out to, to that production crew. Um, also, uh, tomorrow, I know there's the I Am grand finals. I thought that was going to be today, but I might cover that. So a lot of the RGL playoffs um, wrapping up. Season three will be you know coming around the corner. But um, also, you know, there's some other formats of TF2 that are offered in um, RGL, and uh, Fourier Tech's going to be playing in the ProLander format, correct? Um, we aren't signed up for the ProLander, um, but we were hoping to play the No Restriction Sixes. There's been some oh, that's scheduling issues, Excuse I think. Me. Yeah. I think uh, we're also going to need to issue some uh, conduct infractions in the chat, but. Uh... <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that, that happens. That's classic Twitch chat. Keep it friendly, though, ladies and no, gentlemen. No, no, because... in-game chat, in-game chat. Oh, in-game chat, rut row. But, um, oh, yeah, that's not friendly. Um, yeah, uh, I like to see the uh, friendly chatter, but unfortunately, yeah, sometimes we keep that private from the broadcast. Um, either For way, good though... reason. <laughs> yeah, there's been known instances, not necessarily even just with invite, but... Um, either way, Metalworks is going to be our next map here. Um, I, I like Metalworks a lot. What do, what do you think might be some of the key you know, factors that just kind of define this map? You talked about mid-fights. I mean, do you think yeah. that this map is like a demo-heavy map or a scout scout map? What's kind of your some of your thoughts on it? Um, I would say less of a scout map. I think it's definitely going to be more on the projectile classes here. The mid in particular, one of the defining aspects of it is that high bomb, skybox bomb that you can do out of the upper choke along that back wall. I think um, we're going to see the soldiers from Ford taking advantage of that especially. I think 100B is actually going to be a little bit more passive on this map in general. Um, mm -hmm. And But one thing I've noticed recently is whoever gets that early presence on mid really has a huge advantage here because it can be easy to force the other team out into that valley and they lose all their positioning and it's really hard to take it back from there unless... The other team just feeds into you. That has been sort of an old uh, sort of style of like ascent teams, which 100B is sort of carrying the spirit of, um, where they would just sort of back up and just wait for people to feed into them. So that's something to watch out for. Um, other than that, the flow of the map generally, you're going to see after the mid, you're going to see teams try to work the, the flank a little bit more, the underpass and the alley, because it's a little bit more open and wide. You have a little bit more vision and you can get off some high bombs and potentially, you know, get people behind or isolate people over there. So that's generally what you're going to see. So um, a lot of it's going to come down to those uh, sort of, uh, um, you know, just those flank bombs and uh, the, the bait and switch type tactics on the flank where one soldier jumps forward. Maybe the second one comes in from another angle or someone runs underpass. You're going to see a mm -hmm. lot of that going on. And uh, then you're also going to see the medics getting tested because it is it is fairly common that 
Um, the medics or the demos actually are going to get bombed uh, as they're sitting here on second. Uh, demo in particular, I know Marmaloo likes to go for that, so we may see some deaths from bot mode. But uh, we're going to be going into the second map, starting 0-0. Zero, zero, one map in favor of 100B, but uh, Ford looking to answer back now. And uh, yeah, keep this close. So as we go into the mid, um, we're going to see bot mode rolling out directly to lower, as well as Psy Guy, both of them doing kind of a mirror of each other. Bot mode hitting that first shot, though. The height being taken from Ash. Trip, though, goes in deep into the choke, finds Showstopper with that early pick and a 1v1 in the choke. Yite trades it back. Uh, Bear catching pipes. Bot mode actually hitting insane damage there. Those yeah. pipes up that ramp is just a straight line. It was looking good from that first pick, but they needed to keep Bear alive. And there it is. Yeah. It's the late, it's the late mid fight that 100B thrives in. They're not, they're not the early mid team. They're the late mid team. Yeah, side taking just a little bit too much damage there. Excellent plays from bot mode. They're looking to get this aggression here, rotating over to the alley side. Yeah, but it's completely free. All of mm -hmm. uh, Ford are holding last. Marmaloo's spawning a little bit for info, but um, it's going to be a pyro plus a sentry on the last hold. Um, going to see if they can completely deny out that uber. It's it's very common to see the uber come through this door because it's one of the most direct. Um, but actually, they're going just down the bridge. They pop it in. They're going to be flashing. Three people here. Sentry's down. Scout on the point, though. A little bit of cap time. Baiting those soldiers forward. Ash going for a big air shot on side. Oh, Can't quite hit the showstopper down. Uh, Ash has gotten the kill on side with some melee. Sandblast, heavy weapons guy on the point, though. With this is all on Marmalu and Trip. Look at this bomb. Oh. That is beautiful. Oh, and yeah. good rockets into lobby. Can they get this scout? Oh, but oh. Yike finds the kill. He's going to find both of them. An wow. arrow from 404 completely saved him there. He went yeah. down to 5 HP or so. Or, you know, maybe a little bit more than that. He got juggled in the lobby, but somehow got arrowed around the corner. Yeah, those 404 arrows, super crucial there. Showstopper trying to look around the side uh, through kind of like banana side. Yep. Doesn't quite bomb through, though. Yeah, 100B just going to uh, sit back on this 40% ad. Um, but that last ad was a bit bigger, so... Um, this is actually going to be a better situation for Ford than they were in previously. And they have a chance to build here. If 404 isn't fast enough getting in, you know, maybe Bear does get the super. They're moving forward, getting a little bit of spam here. It's going to be the exact same move right down the bridge, but this time with two scouts. They're finding that focus onto Marmaloo, but Marmaloo, he is going to die. Wastes a lot of the time in the Uber. Bot mode weak on the low ground. Oh. Gets arrowed. Oh, it falls apart. I'm yeah, not sure should... how. Bear's no. dying there. Yeah, Showstopper came in through the side there. I think he was just able to kind of get a follow-up bomb. You know, pretty, like, uncontested. Come on. Yeah, I'm surprised that Bear's an early death on these last holds twice in a row. So after that, yeah, it's pretty hard to recover. 100B with a quick round, three-minute round there. Yeah, they must be feeling fired up. This is Ford Gaming's map pick as well. Not going to be 30 minutes for the first round. Just three, four hundred Bs to get on the board. Mm, Sai getting completely outplayed again by bot mode on the mid. But yeah, he shook back. Yeah, it's gonna be first one true. down. And uh, right now uh, the Ash holding the high ground. He's gonna bomb around here. Does get a little bit of pressure on Sandblast. Showstopper going down. Sai also though Jay pushing in, able to get the kill on him. The beast will back up though. Yeah, thankfully that that pick on Sai. They already had two picks, so it's still in favor of Ford there. Um, 100B do end up leaving. Oh, but here it is. Marmaloo onto bot mode. Bot mode gets launched onto the low ground. And he gets mm. focused on. That is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Marmaloo finds that demo isolated on the point. And I think he's going to keep trying to do that throughout this map. So now Ford moving up through alley. Oh, they just sacked trip. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't really have the team rotating in with them to support that bomb. Either to get results or to like even just peek that corner and shoot an arrow heal at him. They have to back up now. 100B's pushing forward. 404 in Valley with a full uber charge here. Yeah, bot mode has spawned, but he's not quite near this push at all. I would have mm. liked to see a force here in this yard or oh. that pick at least. That's good. Ash gets punished. Yeah, pistol down by Yosh. Nice clean up there as he realized that he was super weak. They're getting aggressive here, trying to position over on the alley side. Four players over there. Side I think they're going to do the same thing. In the hallway. Mom lose in. Circles back. Trips in, circles back, the bait the soldier for. He's on the low ground. Uh, 
Oh, side guy across wow. map air shot on the showstopper in the yeah. shutter. And Bobby down. now a bit overextended. He's dead, 100 deep, leaving his team out to dry. Ash also potentially goes oh. down. That's yeah, three takes. players, three players down here, 400 bees. A couple seconds left, four showstopper, but well, four gaming trying to drive in the last here. As Jake does get the kill on Trip Boy, Marmalou pressuring forward, they'll get the pop out. They've lost two players backing up though now. Yeah, they hold okay the about that. Yeah, it, in that situation, it's either don't pop at all and get the force or just pop immediately. Thankfully, they chose one of those. If they would have, uh, you know, tried to save people after, you know, they already dropped one, that would have been a disaster. So they're going to be uh, pushing this on the large ad mm -hmm. instead and uh, going to be pushing into a sentry gun and a sniper. Sentry's still level one. If they can get in quick here, they're shifting over towards the closet side. Going to be trying to come in completely opposite from the sentry, but the sniper is going to be getting a sightline on that. Size in deep. Sentry is down. Sam and they're getting him. lots of cap time. Yeah, he's clearing Bot up the point. so weak. He's got about half the uh, cap time. Ash not enough damage from Sai. Sai is no. only shooting pipes here. He needs to be sticking that point. And he Sandblast even died. Back. Trip Boy trying to get in here. He's going to have to run back, though. He's extremely weak. He gets cleaned up by Jay. Him and Yite have been chasing. Jay still going for the point. And Ford Gaming have put it in reverse. They're going back to mid. Yeah, indeed. It's a 50% add now for 404. They did find that kill on bot mode, but at a huge cost. And it just they didn't have enough damage when they baited the cap. So now 25% though off the Uber. If they spam this well enough. Oh, Marmalou's dead in the chip. Mm. It's a trade, one for one, and a trap! Oh, Sai's not watching it. Let's Showstopper through. Showstopper's in behind, but he's very weak. Yosh can find this kill in the alley. And now this is actually fightable on mid. Ford needs to be getting right back in here. They pop it off. Yeah, oh, getting right on Sandblast. top of 404. 404 able to milk it though. Yeah, Sandblast not getting the most damage out. Yite now able to soak most of this. He's charging in the hallway. There is a soldier behind that is Trip Boy looking to clean this up. He's gonna get killing himself on the splash. Marmalou will finish up Jay though. This was worth it though, because during that exchange, 100 B was down too. So the spawners are gonna be nowhere close to this. And mm -hmm. Yite's getting caught. Four, four. Forgets there's a wall there. He gets caught, unable to retreat, but Sandblast can't get too greedy. They just gotta slow it down. Get this as a team, move it together. Yeah, 404 kind of uncharacteristic there. Not able to escape out of that point. Scouts, War 4 Gaming, capturing second now. Yep, 60% add. Definitely uh, looking good for Ford here. It's going to be the Pyro and Sentry hold now. Something that 100B have bust out, even on some unconventional maps like Snake Water. So we're going to see if this is going to be enough. They have a sniper yep. as well. Sentry's, uh, another Uber's coming through main. This is the Uber that 100B has been doing. They move over. The sentry is down. Trip yeah, is Jay. over into the spawn along with Marmaluke. Oh my god, in the wow. air. And he gets oh, crushed. He gets, yeah, cleaned up by Yike here. The fight continuing though. It's still going pretty well for Beast as uh, Trip Boy will get a clean up uh, kill on Yike there, but it has to back up. Jay also picked off. The soldier's pushing forward here. Just three players up, four forward gaming. So I trying to put traps on the uh, shutter, stop this push out from coming in, but he's not going to be able to do so. Showstopper pushing him back. No scouts. I really would love to see them pressure this. This should be juicy to bomb in on. No scouts to deny you. And Sai actually doing pretty good damage there. I think it's a missed opportunity from Ford. Um, you can see that 100B was actually playing a bit scared there. 404 all the way back in the shutter. But how? How are you seeing health? 100B is holding this. They take almost zero damage during this uber push. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, really good uh, defensive plays from them. That's what they needed. Now they're pushed up on second. Good situation here. Uber, even Ubers. Ford Gaming trying to push through. Choke here. Or through uh, Alex, excuse me. Marmalou jumping across. Uh, just puts himself in the corner though. Ooh, barely dodges the air shots. Triple A trying to follow up here as Marmalou craters. Trip boy on top of Bobmo, but can't get the kill. Yeah. Yeah, they're both trying to do that sort of bait and switch jump. They're trying to get under yeah. bot mode. Bot mode did get bombed, but he ends up surviving. And now 100B trying to work their way in through Valley here. Ford milking it, milking it. Bear very weak, goes down to 50 HP. They do pop it, but 404 is not going to be popping this. They pick off the ice. 
Potentially they could find an opening on the flank now to get behind. Everyone from 100B is inside the house. Yo, Ash is there as well. Ash trying to bomb in on Baradactyl, but he can't quite get the kill. He's gone down. Now Yosh and Marvel okay, get the though. Force. Get the force. They've gone down. Trip Boy. It's a, a pipe in the air from Wait, Bob but Bob Mode. Bob is not in him. position. That means mid could be pushable right now. Since Bob Mode has no traps on these chokes. But they're not going to go for it. Trip behind. I would have liked to see them work off that. Yeah. Oh, oh he... Trip's getting a kill behind too. He kills Yite. So with that ad for uh, Barry, that's actually a great pick because that's one less scout that could potentially run their medic out or that can deny the bomb coming in. Bomb mode also kind of caught in house. Oh, they're just kind of messing around. I don't see what's going on. Yeah, I'm not really trying to punish that or I don't know. Maybe they were just a little bit cautious as well. Barry Dactyl has charge. He's a little bit of damage. Takes the health pack, but they've already popped the Uber charge. Oh. Trying to push out on the mid. Ash He's not going to find behind. anybody. And 4-4 four is at 90. This is about to be a huge pinch from ash nice jump from him bot mode pushing in as well bot mode on top dead. of side oh side does i think it hit a pipe there somebody juggled bot mode but he's got plenty of health i'm surprised that o they only lose side there i thought that was going to be a full wipe there potentially they're trying to work it in through alley the spam is going ash is going to jump forward Showstopper jumping Show in. Stopper. He's on top of Baradactyl. Oh, Bear Gets so some weak. damage. Bear, oh, great search from him. Showstopper and Ash are down. Jay trying to chase in here. He wants to find Bear. Not quite sure where he went. Jay, uh, Bear inside of the uh, shutter. Jay does yeah, find Tripoy, though. Cover. But he's just going to die. Mm -hmm. The health was good... quite bad, but Monolu did buy the time there. Yeah, yeah. Bear will have an Uber charge here. That uh, encourages Sai to kind of push out a little bit in the hallway, get a little aggro, but they're going to have to back up here. on the point alone. This is so bizarre. And he's alive. This cannot happen. Okay, there it is. That's the wow. punish you want to see. Sai bombing, though. Is this too aggressive? Is he getting too cocky? The answer is Whoa. yes. As Trip Boy goes down as well, they will find Showstopper. Only 90% though from 4-4. They have to get on him right now. Oh, he's bleeding. No, it's not going to be enough. 94% Marvel bombing across the line. 98 minutes. No, he does click it. Gets in. Maybe even just holding that Gets right the click. They need to keep this momentum going. They can catch them here. Yeah, they're retreating out in the second. Baradactyl and company here. A little bit slow to get into to alley here. Yeah, if Ford can get any picks here, this round will be great for them. Big bomb Looks in like here from Ash is committed on the point. That's a potential pick. He's down to half HP. If they could just Uber right into left lobby here. Oh, it could be so fast. Just Uber Sandblast. Do it. Oh, yeah. they're shifting lower right. Will 100B see this? Bot mode is there. Potentially going to get caught in right lobby. But they hesitate. They still have a big enough Uber ad to push this on. And Trip is in. On 404. Oh, Gets no. 10 HP. Sandblast looking for the pistol. He can't quite get it. The 404 cycle no, spawns. No, they're dropping people. Two He's down. He's Sandblast camping. on the point. Oh, Uber Charge is out here. We'll be able to get the kill on Yank. Side Turning around here. Only spamming pipes. Just shoot a sticky. That's all I oh. want. And he's going to get ditched. Sandblast tries to do what he can. But Ford Gaming have left him there. Man, Sai is just not ready for these last pushes. If he would just trap the point, that's two kills just right into his lap. Look at this, though. Two people from 100B chilling on last. They're afraid of a back cap. Half the team is forward, half the team is not. They just pop right on through. Marmalu's gonna die for this force. Mm -hmm. The rest, oh, Sandblast is on spy, so they were right to expect this, and bot mode saw him. So now they're thinking, we got two picks. We're not gonna be respecting the spy. We're gonna treat that as if he's already dead. And they're moving. Uh, maybe they respect the Uber a little bit, but yeah, they're gonna be a bit paranoid. Sandblast can at least call where the traps are and where everyone's positioned and the exact Uber percentage. Yeah, yeah, it does seem to be kind of running around, poking himself into odd spots, trying to find that spy. I'd rather see Sandblast uncloak near the point, see if he can stab someone there. Oh, he spots the <laughs> percentage. Oh. Oh, I felt wow. like he got shimmied into, but the player yeah. didn't seem to notice there. They're leaving. Yeah, wow. they, oh, wait. Charge, yeah this is they, doable. They did Uber in here, and they got the kill on bot. But they don't have second. Have they forgotten a crucial aspect of this game? You can't cap Maybe. last until you have the, the fourth point. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sandblast blasted down as he eventually gets discovered here. So I have some traps. We'll be able to find Showstopper. But, you know, it's a little too late. 
Giving three forward spawners though, that's nice. Oh no, actually those are back spawners, excuse me. Yeah. Bot mode's not quite here either. Jay is weak? Oh, uh, but... Wow, look at how well, far those scouts went for Marmalou. Yeah, they got the so... force. Nice job from Trip and uh, Marmalou there. Yeah, good job kind of spreading the team apart. Able to get that uh, usage out of them. 15 minutes on the clock here for our first half. Yeah, plenty of time to bring this back. And we're looking at a 60% ad or 50% ad for Bear here. I think they're going to go for this. But we've seen a 100B kind of slip people behind. They got to prevent that from happening here. Here comes the push into yard. Trip jumps forward. The jump from Ash into yard. He's behind. Yeah, showstopper behind as well. That uber charge both has come out. Behind. This actually isn't too great for 100B. Having both soldiers behind and not healthy, it's not going to be a great situation for them. Yeah. Here goes showstopper. So oh, they're going to back Ash make it out? He did. Wow. Yeah, somehow found himself on the right side of the map with the right players. Um, Showstopper's still down. Forward Gaming not going to push too hard in here. Let's and see what kind of spam we can get from Ford to slow down this push coming in through Yard. Yeah, the counter push from Hunter Bees. They want to use the supercharge advantage that they have. Oh, but Sai is so passive. He's not really wow. challenging them. And actually, Marmalou and uh, a scout going all the okay. way to first second here. Very aggressive play. Two players okay. traded for one. Yeah, and it brought the rest of the combo back, but Sandblast can't get picked here. Oh, he's very oh. low health, able to find that Look at how point. far Showstopper's oh. going for that pick. That is crazy. Yeah, great pick, though. One of those, just like, are you going to like pop that Ubercharge to save your one scout? Size or are you going to wait until here. you awkwardly no way. get forced no to do it? No way! Oh. Lives. Impossible! He got triple bombed in alley. He's just jumping around, and bot mode dies instead of Sai. I, can, I can't explain it. Yeah, Ford Gaming maybe coming back here as things were looking dire after that whole exchange on mid. 404 forced into using here. Bear Dactyl going to be able to soak it quite a bit better. Marmalou has gone down here. They're trying to wrap here. the flank right now. Yaitna 1v1 in the house against Sandblast. Not Sandblast mm -hmm. specialty by any means, but he brings in the oh. backup. Oh, Yosh not able to save it, but from behind. Oh, Yosh caught out. Ash living behind. He might kill Sai yeah. even. Okay, Bear Dactyl sort of like feeling very uncomfortable on the circumstances. He has to back up, despite the Uber charge, doesn't really want to use it there. 12 and a half minutes on the clock here in the first half, Ford Gaming still down 1-0. Yeah, a lot of scrappy stuff going on there and it ends up buying 100B enough time. Absolutely should have been the push in from Ford there. But that, yeah, that flank fight being forced by Yite brought both scouts back. They kill both scouts and then that just kills all the momentum for Ford. So now it's once again on 100B to see how they can break this. sai has got a trap in house. It looks like they spotted it, so it's probably not gonna amount to much. Um, gonna see what maybe Showstopper does here through Alley. Yeah, we'll have to see what can happen here. Ash is trying to do that slow push. Uh, down hallway, finding sticky traps, Jay clearing them out. And a big bomb in here. That's a bomb mode over the top here. It does get Bear Ooh, The drop. What a ridiculous bomb there. They distracted really hard in house, and then the soldier came in from the side, along with that spam from, uh, yeah, the oh, demo. Oh man, it's gonna there get goes that Yosh, there goes Marmalou. And desperation play coming out, not gonna amount to anything. They slow down 100B a little bit. Um, they are gonna get most of their spawns. Nice pick from Sai. So that that's actually pretty good for them. Yite being dead means that other scout has to stay on cap. They can't keep the momentum going. Bot mode also spawning. Um, so they are going to get a full setup here. Obviously still at a massive uber disadvantage. But it's it's holdable. Just no one can uh, afford to die before this push. And I'd like to see Bear not be the first one dead. <laughs> For sure. Yosh on the sniper. No, um... They're flashing no four pyro. people in here. Big the sentry's immediately down. Oh, Ash is dead. Ash. Lots of cap time, but Trip is blocking it. Soldiers back behind at the spawn. The scouts have no idea. They're just being shot in the back oh. by Showstopper. The awareness completely lacking. Bear needs an Ubersaw. He doesn't get it. Yeah, there we go. The wipe is done. 2 0. The potential for a, a halftime wrapping up before 30 minutes looms as a 100 piece now up 2 0.
And uh, do we? Yeah, uh, looking like pause. it's paused at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah, that was uh, that that push mostly came down to the showstopper just getting in and unseen. Two scouts just turning their backs to him, and he kills both of them. If showstopper dies there, they already have the pick on Ash. Trip contested the point. They weren't really in much danger of getting capped, so they just <clears throat> needed to find that kill, but unable to do so. 100B puts the round on the board, and they've they've been pretty consistent with closing out those last pushes so far compared to Ford, um, and I think that's been one of the, the uh, main takeaways from this entire series so far is that Ford, uh, they're really weak pushing last. They can't close it out. They've had yeah. so many opportunities on process. We saw it like four or more. We've already seen two of them so far, and if they were winning those last pushes, this would be a completely different scoreline. Yeah, and same for process as well, right? You know, just yeah. this and that, you know, if like they had those pushes a little bit better together, you know, could create opportunities for themselves that they could exploit. Um, you know, certainly they would, you know, it's, it's about getting rounds on the board, right? Ultimately, yes. Um, tied up 2-0, uh, 100 piece, one map in the books for them, but uh, paused at the moment. So uh, just 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 hanging out until we get this cleared up. Certainly Beast um, off to a good, good start on this map. Yeah, I have to wonder what this pause could be about. Um, some potential situations. I've, I've seen some lag from uh, Sandblast every once in a while could be going on because we have to assume this is, you know, actually 90 seconds into the next round. Right. Um, so it's not actually paused mid-round. You would have liked to see that pause come in, you know, take a tactical timeout while you're down to um, two rounds and see really what you can do to adjust and bring it back. But this is a mid-round pause, which is always, uh, you know, a dangerous situation. Uh, you never know what could happen, and it, it could potentially be a thing that could, could derail the entire... Uh, Mm -hmm. the entire team if your med drops or your demo lags out whatever it could be uh hopefully you know we're not going to have those sort of x factors coming into play um but yeah we'll yeah. have to just wait and see um but it's... and also another thing to note like at this point you know 100b being in the lead they've always been a team that's been good you know later in the match as we saw mm -hmm. last half they're on pausing now so this is going to continue but uh this is going to be a, a huge test for Ford to bring this back against all odds at this point. Yeah, certainly down 2-0. We've seen some good fortitude from them, really kind of staying in the match, you know, overall in the first map and second. But, you know, we've also seen some moments of lapses from them. Have to see how this goes. Ash taking over that to right crate. He will get the health pack over there. Sandblast and Trip Boy trying to do the same thing, controlling the high ground on the opposite side. No big bombs yet. Showstopper just trying to play out of the uh, choke, as is Marmalou. Side, Side the first going one down. down. Trip doing a lot of damage, though. They can respond back with a demo pick, but it looks like they're just leaving. Mm. Uh, and they oh. still lose two people for it. Yeah, just kind of overcommitting after that. You know, once you lose one player, you know, that's hard to just kind of hit that full retreat button. Sometimes you gots to do it, though. Yeah, 100B trying to force their way in just through a house here. They get a soldier in, almost get stuffed out by Marmalu completely, but uh, holding on. And now that bomb coming in from the side. And oh! the, no! The drop once again. They're not paying attention. They get too distracted looking in house. And from the skies comes the soldier, and he just drops a rocket right on top of Bear's head. Yeah, that's really the big risk on this point. Um, is uh, Looks like that's where the pause was as well. But that big risk of those high bombers coming through alleyway and once again ash able to do so uh, and just get great results from it yeah thankfully um 404 actually popped immediately after the drop from bear so the ad isn't as big as they might hope um it's about a 30 ad or so actually bear's not building that well yeah. But uh, yeah, Uber's ready from 100B. They're gonna go in towards the sentry this time. No pyro in position. Yeah, easy cleanup on the sentry. Yosh back on scout. Uh, Yite just getting on the cap though. Marmalou bombing in from behind. Jay also taken down. There goes Baradactyl, but 404 also get, uh, gone. So the beast really, nothing left to offer here. Oh, actually, Ash gets two kills here. <laughs> He's trying to get the last. Not gonna be able to do so though. Yeah. 
Yeah, Bear dies once again. It was looking so good. First few kills. They do hold it, but the spawn's coming up first from 100B. They're not giving this up for free. You can count on that. Actually, uh, Yosh hitting an ornament there onto Yite kind of stuffs him out. I think if he would have gotten in there clean, he probably would have stopped that cap because bot mode was an alley. Mm -hmm. So they're just going to buy a little bit of time. It's not really going to amount to much. Uh, just another reset on the last hold. It was looking like it could have been a 3-0, but they're holding it at 2-0. Yeah, seven minutes on the clock here. We'll see if they can kind of maintain this or just, you know, as we saw in process, pro possibly rally this back, do a coast to coast. You know, 2 1 at the end of the half is quite a bit different than 2 0 or 3 0. Yep, certainly. Yeah, Ford should just be thinking to, you know, hold it here and minimize the gap. Um, but if they have an opportunity, they got to go for it. That's, that's always part of the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The challenge of these situations is like, you know, you still want to win the match. You know, you can't just let it expire on you. So, yeah, you, if they you find play it, to win. if they find the openings, they have to go for them still. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we see so many teams, you know, lose matches, lose rounds off of, you know, feeling like they have a good opportunity to push out and it not quite working. But again, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we have seen four gaming being able to do it, but if at the end of the day, you can't push out of last and then turn that into a winning round you know that means you're just counting on winning mid fights and mid fights and that's yeah. not realistic yeah that's true sack coming in it's just gonna be a one man yeah. sack good sticky is there to kind of help uh, disrupt that um and stuff it now we've got yo sniping trying to peek see what he can find yeah marmalu also getting out there but he doesn't find anything might have his body lower. shot on the scout standing on this wall he really wants to hit that scout's toes. Oh. It's the soldier's uh, foot instead. It's not an AWP though. That's not a one-shot kill. Yeah, especially against uh, the buff players. Even if he would hit that scout, Jay was fully buffed, so he would have survived. But it was a good attempt. Now we've got the Jay sniper coming out. You know, Yosh wants to snipe well, and Jay's going to respond back. And uh, you know, they've been pretty successful with this so far. We'll see what they can do. Yeah, just tense situation here. Five minutes on the clock now. 100B still feel pretty comfortable with this. Shutters might be open here. We might see a sniper versus sniper. But no, you're not quite able to find anything. There is Yosh. They are now aware that the sniper's in play. But, uh, you know, they were aware the other times too. And right, it resulted yeah. in them dropping four people, essentially, so. Hopefully we don't see a repeat of that, but I'm not too uh, not too sure. Oh, Ash just standing there holding the shutter open. That's easy pickings for Yosh. Yosh trying to creep forward here a little bit further, see what he can find. Nothing so far. He's working around left side, triple boy trying to open up that shutter. He will be able to get in here. Oh, so there goes Yosh to Jay. Yep, that return shot through a little crack. He was set up for it. He knew exactly where Yosh was going to peek. Can't quite get in any further though. Showstopper on the side. Ash over there as well. Ash Both gonna soldiers. go down. Puts Showstopper jumps heel. in. On to No! Wow. Another drop! He has his back turned to Showstopper. That's three drops. One per round. Yeah. And yeah, Bear is. You know, you hate oh. to say it, but Bear is uh He's Barrel. leaving it wide open for 100 B. They get that drop and they just they instantly pop in. They're so confident. Because of such a big mistake like that, Bear needs to stop that immediately. And, <laughs> and yeah, I mean, if that continues, obviously this is this is going five zero. You you just you just need to stop that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, one of those things where yeah, you have eight deaths and like almost half of those are drops. Um, that's just like real real painful. I mean, obviously that's just not gonna work out at the end of the day. Um, three zero three zero in this first half rough stuff there and you know in terms of a last hold as well like that was starting okay you know like the final moments there you're like okay you stuff marmalou on the side your player holding over on closet got that kill great and then you know showstopper just bombs in and like you said Beardactyl just kind of uh, back to the wrong side and and takes that damage that's tough. You know, the other bomb that he lost to, I believe it was both a synced up Ash bomb and a synced up um, 
bot mode bomb. So unfortunate stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how it happens. You, you as a team cannot have your medic drop three Ubers. You know? Yeah. I mean, I think all those situations were very avoidable. They all came down to mm-hmm. awareness because they completely left the flank open and someone just bombed in bears looking in the opposite direction. So it's just an awareness factor. And yeah, it, I mean, maybe, you know, it's not on bear to see it necessarily, but someone, someone's got to have their eyes on that. They got to, got to keep these people in check. At this point, 100B is playing incredibly confident. Um, a 3 yeah. lead, it's, it's hard to see them throwing it at this point. But, you know, Ford, uh, I don't think they're going to give up, but maybe if it goes 4-0, they might start accepting their fate. But just knowing, <laughs> just knowing the players, some of them, you know they they aren't so uh yeah um, well, they're not again, capable of st- like keeping it focused in these situations at times yeah and i mean again we we speculated a little bit you, you were quite aware with the uh you know communication uh, atmosphere of top level teams but you know there there's sometimes is that thing where you're like you, you know you're losing but you know after you lose that fourth round you're like come on guys we got this we got this 5-4 rollback <laughs> you know you still, yeah, you know, you some teams that. are a bit better about focusing and staying in there, even when the times are really super dark, but they are getting yeah. really dark. Yeah, I'd be quite curious to hear how they're handling it. Hopefully they do have that, you know, focused, positive attitude. Um, it's mm-hmm. really, it's really important. If you're, if you're ever going to do this, that's a crucial component of it. You got to believe that you can make it happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, supportive of your teammates, playing to win. Uh, and that, uh, you know, mental focus and uh, confidence. And we'll see if Ford Gaming, you know, can pull that out right now, you know, as the night w- winds on, you know, can they say, okay, you know, this is what we need to do right now. We need to win at least the next four rounds, you know, even if it's three and 30 minutes, we're going to need to win the golden cap round. And then we're going to need to win goalie wash as well. And yeah. um, basically they only got one buff around. And after that rounds, you know, they could still, they can still run it back 5-4 and then win goalie wash, but, you know, they, they don't have two rounds to give anymore. Yeah. Yeah, and just looking at the stats, it's, uh, you know, maybe a bit deceptive just because there's been so many, like, uh, holds mm-hmm. going on. There's not as much back and forth compared to the first map, or at least that first half on process. Um, so people are kind of just standing around, not getting a lot of damage out. Um but what that means is that it's kind of mid to last a lot of the time. And yeah. then you're just locked into that stalemate. There's not a lot yeah. of openings for them to work off of. Yeah, so another, Ford needs to break that cycle. Another kind of interesting way is the stats illustrate that point that you just made is that uh, looking at the deaths, like 404, two deaths in that half, which is ridiculous. Jay also with an extremely low five. But then, you know, the next three players are actually Sandblast, Baradactyl, and Psyguy. So the 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 core pocket of Ford Gaming isn't necessarily dying a lot, but it's just more about like, you know, their other players, they're not able to facilitate that of them staying in, you know, staying alive, getting frags with those other players because they are almost down, you know, 20 frags in terms of uh, that differential. Yep. You know, every time they die, even though they're not maybe dying as much, it's been pretty important deaths, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah. That's that's something I always look for in my stats. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I got I got work done with those deaths. And certainly stats can tell some interesting stories that sometimes they don't necessarily tell all the stories about, you know, how those numbers actually, you know, convert. And, um, you know, two mid fights for... Uh, the 100 beasts, one fight for Ford Gaming, but just you know, as the fights kind of like extended and went on, 100 beasts just seemed to like continuously you know find advantages and continue to leverage those. Yeah, definitely. Um, Jay is certainly playing a, a strong game. He's certainly soaking a lot of those heals. 17 frags though, not quite the top fragger that was taken by Yite. And uh, Yosh yep. also still having a pretty good second half here. Um, so, Banny, you know, we had a pause. Oh, actually, we're already going live, but you got to yes. a quick sum up. What would you say for Ford Gaming here to, to start getting better results? 
No more dropped Ubers. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, start winning mids. Start start turning this into a you know an actual like match that's not just a last hold. That's what they need to do. Yeah. We'll see what they can get done here. A side guy. Uh, actually, the first to mid quite early gets a nice yeah, dig. He's on lower. The booties, which is giving him a little bit more health and positioning here. And Ash oh. taking a rocket as well early. Bot mode has gone down to Sandblast. Chip Boy also controlling the lobby of Hunter Beast, while Sandblast going all the way behind. I think he has been spotted, oh. but he's still going to be a major distraction here. Four game can continue to keep this pressure up. Yep. Look at Ash. So weak on the oh. low ground. Four four guys goes down. There it is. Marmalu gets that kill. Sandblast yeah. and uh, Yosh finding kills. I didn't even realize Bear had died, so that's why yeah. they had to go all in there. Yeah, Showstopper getting that kill on Bear over an alley. So, you know, Ford Gaming get some positives there, but the negatives kind of outweighing that. Well, they've got mid, which is great for them. It's something that, you know, they can work off of. Um, yeah, really interesting from Sai on that peg leg. No pipes to work with, which is something that Sai, I'd say, is certainly known for. See how it affects his play. Um, but it's basically even Uber's going to be up to Ford to try and make something happen. I'm going to be watching out for uh, Marmalu here, because he's been the one to jump forward first, try to bomb up onto the point, um, try to focus down bot mode in particular. Yeah, we'll have to see how this goes here. Just a slow play at the moment here, as we're in our second half. And Ford Gaming are able to take that first mid fight. But just kind of slow action from him. We'll see if we can see a big bomb from Alley. Jumps oh. towards the point. Yeah. Jumps out, trip forward. Baits two people to the low ground. Oh. Mm. Okay, they get a kill on Ash. And pretty good damage on a few other people. Showstopper lives with 30 HP. And Jay just holding W. How, how do you feel about those Marmalu bombs? It seems like he's just going for one jump instead of like a double wall jump, and then he just goes in the corner and then alternates with Trip Boy. Yeah, the fact that it's a bit unconventional, you know, I think is pretty good. Um, oh, massive flank. Yosh going out of his mind right here. Yeah. Finds a kill on the flank and then finds bomb. Sai, though, kind of alone in alley. How is he here? Oh, he jumps away. Wow, wow. crucial from Sai. But I do yeah. think Sai is sort of missing on those alley pushes. Mm -hmm. I think that if he was synced up with the the play that Marmalu and Trip are trying to make, he could probably find um, you know someone overextending and do some good damage there. Because uh, right now with just those soldiers jumping forward, it's pretty unlikely they're gonna kill someone that's fully buffed just sitting on the point there. Um, I guess Bear popped that and 404 did not. So the Uber ad is in 404's favor. As they move through house, they're popping through lower. They bomb in. Bear is caught in the choke. Oh. And goes down to Ash as well yeah. as Yosh. Great aggression here from 100 piece. As uh, Ash still lurking around a little bit Samus here. Samus is sniping an alley. He has an angle. Oh, but they spot him. Both oh. soldiers. Are both soldiers hiding in alley here? Okay, they're leaving. So Trip is on the hiding spot, but he's been checked. Showstopper hid there like six times in his oh. uh, previous match. Oh, Marmalu, yeah, Marmalu bomb finds over it. the top as everybody was clearing out Trip Boy. We'll get that kill, but you still have the feeling that these are just like desperation tactics. Is they're gonna concede second here? The pick yeah. on the mid is obviously great, but you know at what cost, right? Sandblast yeah. pushing in on uh, Bobo. We'll get they, the trade there. What is this? This is just desperation, like of an unnecessary degree. Yeah. Yeah. Marmalu was behind there. You'd like to see them pressuring while that's happening. Marmalu unfortunately loses the 1v1, so he just trades the Showstopper instead of getting that. Um, or actually, I don't think he killed Showstopper. Um, he just dies, and then, you know, uh, Sandblast finds that 1v1. I think he got the kill onto bot mode at least, so they the traps weren't set up, but they took too long pushing out. Yeah, it's they are trying 25. to just... Plan, trying to play to win here, but you know this push out is a little bit slow here. Yosh getting out. Ubercharge is forced out here. Trying to use it on Yosh to just get in the hallway and create some pressure. Ash has gone down. Blood for the trade on Sandblast. The beasts are pushing forward here. Bot mode jumping out here. Bot mode. They've gotten trip point. Uh, he's pushing forward on a Baradactyl. Jay's here as well. They will get the kill on Yosh. Right on the oh, oh, side. Sure so much damage. Two. Marmalu Marmalu's behind, behind as well. They're trapped in lobby. 404 trying to heal, trying to get Bob Mode alive. He can't keep him up, though. Marmalu's coming back in. Oh, 
Oh, nice rocket on bridge. Marmalu thrown up in the sky. He will survive that. Pretty low on health. Looking for an Get arrow from no Pterodactyl. Side, not mm. worth. No, as he trades with Showstopper there. Beast thinking about coming out here. They had a player dis add, but without the demo man spamming on on hallway, at least they wanted to try their odds a little bit here. Looks like they will back up though. Yeah, it's, it's going to be even ubers. During that, Sandblast ran through underpass. He found the flank on Ash, and he took a 1v1 with Yite. Yite survived with a 1 HP. Could have been a huge turning point there in that fight. Just didn't work out. This is even ubers, but they're still peeking through house into mid. Showstopper's on spy. Not that they would know that. I think he's checking for a spy himself. Nope, he's just going to commit through. Are Ford going to be crazy enough to force this? I don't think they are. But the last time we saw the spy, it was a drop. So, uh, Bears... Uh, yeah, Bear is going to be all eyes on Bear. See if he gets backstabbed. That would be a true demoralizing death and probably seal the deal on this match. Yeah, Showstopper trying to go in here. Does able to um, just sneak past Sandblast there underneath without taking any damage. Bot mode will go down there to Psy. Quite see where that was. Bot mode down, but that could prompt them to be a little bit reckless with this mm. push as Showstopper comes in behind. Yeah. He's going to be able to decloak way behind enemy lines, right behind Baradactyl. Will he be able to get another stab here, Bear? Completely unsuspected, he gets it! And the pop, once again, immediate pop. They just kill everyone who's lingering in those chokes. And this is just going to be a roll. Yeah, Marmalou jumping around behind, but bot mode Trip actually backed Marmalou by... Trip and Marmalou behind. They're just yeah. going to roll the last. Marmalou jumping forward here. Trip away as well, but they're both going to get completely destroyed here. Four players spawning. They're not going to be able to get out and contest, though. 4 0 now for 100 beasts on our second map. 4 0. I, I don't see the comeback happening, but, you know, hopefully Ford gives it their all. They're going to need fast rounds here, and they're going to need them to be clean and decisive. Starting with this mid. Yeah, it, it's certainly a tall task, but one step at a time. And as this mid gets underway, uh, Sai coming out from Choke. Trying to spam across. Ash getting pretty aggressive. He takes a good amount of damage, though. He is down early. Looking Trip good. Y. 4 4, 10 HP. Just gets the pack. Oh. They're getting lots of kills. Oh, though they've lost a few here. Showstopper can't get another follow up. He did get Sai. Marmalu down as well. But it's 4 2 in favor of 4 gaining. Mm -hmm. uh, at least in terms of players. It's going to be, uh, you know, still long spawns here. What are they doing? Oh my God. They almost committed into lobby there. That was so risky, but... Oh, they take this exchange off lobby. They dropped mm. trip. They can't be dropping trip there. Now Sandblast is completely alone here with four people surrounding him, all of them incredibly healthy. Marmalu's gonna be coming in. This is gonna be all on Marmalu. He needs to find big picks as he bombs in. Gets bottom up, but Bear is dead. He's gonna find damage onto the point. Damage yeah. onto the scout. Ash with this huge flank though. With that, the he bombed through all alley. 60 health or less. But they're just soaking arrows, yeah. This is the 100 B special right here. Dropping trip there is completely unacceptable. Oh, and 404 survives the bomb from Marmalou. They're looking to push forward here, retake mid. Yep, and we see trip in a desperation spot. Are they going to spot him up in this vent? Yite and Jay. Jay probably going to look up at him. Wow, look at Ash once again. All right, trip has a chance. Trip has a chance here. He's hiding on this vent. Yeah, he's going for bot mode. Nice drop onto bot mode's head. Might get a soldier kill here too as well. Yeah, Yosh has been reeling off some hits here. Uh, Trip Boy will go down in lobby. Yike fighting up against Sandblast. Yike can't get that kill. Sandblast does go down to Jay though, finishing him off. There are only three players up though. Four beasts, and they're stuck in the hallway. Jay's going to have to get Ubered by 404. Will clean up Marmalou. 404 wants to go forward, leading the charge. Flashes his Uber as well. It was daring Yosh to take a shot at him. Yosh oh getting out of the SMG. He doesn't kill him. Coming in. No, he doesn't. Showstopper gets the kill on him. Yosh wasted a whole SMG clip to not do 20 damage. No. <laughs> his hands are shaking too much. He's too nervous. Yeah, probably. I know the feeling. Right now, 100 B is going to be able to take this midpoint. Ford Gaming trying to pressure through. Valley, they do have 85% here. 20 minutes on the clock. Down 4-0. Marmalou going down to Ash. That's a straight trade. Yite picks up Trip Y, though. In the exchange. Oh, and now Psy kind of stuck on the rock. He survives for a little bit, but then Baradactyl drops him. 
might as well call that a drop. Showstopper getting floated by Yosh. And yep, Baronak they dropped four jumped people. On. Oh, no. And yeah, Bear's not even making it out. No, he's getting cut down by Jay. They're pushing forward the most of the team. But they got to get somebody on that capture point bot mode, waiting for some heals. They want to get in on last, keep this pressure up, and close this game out. And it's looking like it's going to happen. The Ubers pop through. Saigai does not have the point trap. Bot mode's already pressuring the spawn. Yeah, Jay getting a little bit of time on it. Marmalo getting floated sky high. Trip White trying to jump in. He's going to get cleaned up as well. Jay has gone down, but uh, two players out. 4-4 four, four gaming. 100 Beast trying to push back in here. Showstopper bombing in from behind. Right on top of Beardack. Wait a second. High in the air. Oh, Beardack oh. barely survives it. Sai actually holding that. Tons of damage. Unfortunately, they let 404 out when they had all the rest of the team dead. A bit slow to move out, but that was against all odds that Ford holds that. Yeah, that was um, desperation for sure. But they're able to push out. Uber charges are even now. So Ford Gaming, they can't. Well, I say can't, but it, it sort of looks like they maybe want to keep accelerating here. Yeah, unfortunately, with only 18 minutes left and needing to get four rounds to tie this, they can't yeah. really afford to oh. stalemate this oh. out. Nice so pick close. from Sai. Well, and 100B yeah, I... giving up some space here. Yosh gets in on the flank. Showstopper incredibly weak. Goes down. Trip with the bomb from the side. And this is actually looking great here for Ford. The pop comes out. And Bear holds his Uber. They need to take this all the way to last. Yeah, 404 got juggled vertically, which as a medic with Uber, that's like your worst nightmare. You can't go any direction. You're just stuck not healing anybody. And the uh, player's about to respawn here for 100 beasts. Oh, Cat yeah, sniping mid. the underpass. Mm -hmm. Now Bear's going to be too afraid to cross. Showstopper so over Sandbox. an alley as well. Oh, nice pick from Sandbox. He has to get out of there without getting sniped. Will they test the sniper or will they just pop through main? I think they're just going to pop through main. Sai's going for the jump. The Ubers pop. Sai's in, but nobody's there. Oh, Sai goes oh. all the way for bot mode. He's insane. Wow, yeah, his first jump didn't quite work out, but the skip jump to get inside lobby. Definitely Ash is behind craziness there. with only 100 health. They could roll this to last. Ash behind and bot mode dead. They'd have to get in immediately. Oh, Marmalu's going to find it. Oh, they're too slow. It's too yeah. slow. Sandblast is alone. It's not going to work. Yeah, they turn around and try to deal with Marmal or to, with deal with Ash. Yosh actually still kind of Dude. pushing Mar uh, Ash further back. So it's just a huge distraction. Is Ash still back there? He is. Yeah. He's just buying time. And how right. be? They, they can throw away some rounds here. They're looking to push on this, and they just pop right through onto bridge. Bear is at eighty percent. Jay is trying to chase him, but Bear's going to get out. Will Ash find that pinch? He is not going to be able to. And no cap time either. Marmalu behind. Yeah, he gets cleaned up by Jay. Uber though. Nice attempt by him. Nice. They're going to get 404 here. They need to clean up the scout here as well. Yeah, bot mode has gone down. Big the Uber scout from Sandlust. Sandlust. It's just too easy. Up. Frags here standing. One scout still. trying to back cap. They're just going to get on last. Oh, yeah, They've done it. Go. They put around on the board. It looked like 100B was getting a little bit, you know, um, cocky there. Kind of playing around there um, with that Uber coming in. Incredibly risky. I think. Uh, you know, if hopefully, you know, for Ford, they'll keep doing that. But I think 100B are just going to close this out here. Or they're going to try. They're going to take this very seriously here. Yeah, certainly. They've given them a little bit of breathing room. But uh, still up 4-1 here. Bot mode pushing out through choke. Yosh has taken the low ground. Jay trying to work around the enemy's truck. Ash, big bomb across. Aerodactyl pretty much just stuck in choke here. Marmalou's out as Ash coming in here. Gets some good damage on Sai Sai. Extremely weak. Marmalou weak as well. Back with Aerodactyl though. Fort Gaming has managed to stay alive. Still getting frags. Yosh getting right in front of Bob Mode. Bob Mode's got the melee out. He can't get the kill though. But Ash coming in from behind. Oh, getting some clean up. Incredible mid. Definitely some craziness. 404 survives though. So does Aerodactyl. Yeah. There's a really interesting start there. Um, all Both the soldiers from uh, four jumped behind, like in towards the valley and mm -hmm. uh, roof of, of 100B. And though that meant that there was very little pressure on bot mode, who ended up getting a scout pick across the point, that um, that second phase of the fight when the soldiers came in was just devastation. They landed right on top of the scouts and got tons of damage there. Yeah, right now Ford Gaming down three rounds, 15 minutes on the clock. Quick mass, an average of five minutes around, so still plenty of time at the moment. They Sniper are from Yosh. 
Peeping house. Spot here. Does Yo, he find the shot? Nope. Uh, showstopper, big bomb across. It does force Bear into the awkward pop. At least it's not a drop. But 404 and J ready to potentially counter pop into him, so they're not going to be able to push forward at all. They have to go backwards, and it's the wrong direction. 404 gaming. Here comes a bomb big... over their head. Yeah, more oh, oh, He gets the drop on 404. Beautiful stuff there. He's continuing to push forward as well, just distracting the beast, stretching them out. But uh, Yai in Valley, he's going to try to slow this push down a little bit, create some space. But Baradak, we're going to have a 50% advantage here. Bot mode potentially caught here in alley. Oh, they slow it down. Wow. They opt to not push, even with the heal advantage. Maybe the smart choice, because their players are not quite in position. But they, yeah, that was a massive play there. Sai hit the trap in underpass. So Jay was weak in the corner, and I think they were looking to sort of heal him up. Meanwhile, um, you know, Marmaluke comes from the skybox, and the same thing that happened to Bear, he lands on him when he's only half health, gets that drop, and look at, actually, yeah, he's sentry, uh, building a sentry on last. There's so, a great uh, trap here, though, over an alley. We'll see if they see it. Size. Oh, Sandblast spotted it just in time, right before Baradactyl is going to stand on it. 80% though from 404. Oh, they need to find these picks in right lobby. Little trip, get one. Yeah, he Marmaluke does. pushing forward. The Uber's ready though. Yeah, 404 will have it for defense. 13 and a half minutes on the clock here. Sandblast trying to push forward here. Uh, Uber charge is out here. The sentry gun by Yite will get taken out here. Showstopper pushing back into this Uber. Baradak will kind of awkwardly juggled. Showstopper and Jay pushing into lobby here. Jay searching for frags. They will find Marmaluke. Sandblast was awesome going for a flank there. He'll get taken out. Yosh trying to fight against bot mode. The, the timer is ticking though, but he does get the kill there. Get the kill on Yosh as well. The jump around from Showstopper. Baradakko extremely low. Showstopper still fighting though. Baradakko gets the kill on him. But 404 got a saw in the meantime. Wow, that was an insane fight. That flank through lobby, completely unexpected. They, but a wise choice. They find two picks, and then meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Ford standing their ground, fighting in that lobby. Yosh with a crucial kill, chasing down bot mode. And I think, um, yeah, that saw, though, it's going to probably stop their plans of taking a risk here. That was pretty important. I, I mean, at this point as well, it's, it's kind of like a payload match for 100 beasts. I know we don't play that in sixes, but the clock is ticking, and it's just like, how long can you slow things down? To get that saw and to get that advantage, that puts the fear of life into Ford Gaming. They can't just push, you know, before they have an Uber charge. Slows them down a little bit more. And 12 minutes on the clock with four gaming needing three rounds here. Yeah, and 100B are pretty good during the exchanges. So I think if Ford's solution to the, breaking this down is just to keep going for exchanges, I don't think they're going to break through. Yeah. But what are they going to find? They need to take out this sentry first and foremost if they want to try and make anything happen. Yeah, they need that special play. Marmaloo. Marmaloo. He got skipped upwards as he's bombing in, try, or falling downwards, trying to get some more damage out. Yite aggressive what is with the Yite engineer. Doing? <laughs> yeah, and Gian forward. He, he didn't even have a Widowmaker or anything. That's going to encourage Ford Gaming to push out here. Oh, Ash is so weak. 20 HP. Heals, Trip might be able to destroy the sentry here. Hmm. The sentry's so weak. Shot. Oh, he's out of ammo. Uh, oh. That was unfortunate. Again, you know, just to point it out, to underline it one more time, the talk, the clock is picking. Board Gaming had a lot of, you know, opportunities there. Some advantages they could have maybe taken, you know, gotten some further advantages from, but not able to get in there. Yep, so 100 me just going to stabilize here. That mm. pick is going to buy them even more time. Looking for another one. Yeah, can't quite get the second, at least at first, but Jay now into that longer angle down lobby. He has to rotate back over to shutter. The stickies have been cleared off. He's gonna look right. And a uh, uh, bomb in here from Marmaluke. Marmaluke, nice kill on Jay there. Yeah, and good damage on the NG and demo simultaneously. I feel like that's the best opening they're gonna get, but Sandwest is on Sniper, so. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think they're gonna make much happen from it. Oh, and bot mode is spamming so aggressively forward. Yeah, he takes one rocket, but he's still healthy enough. Takes an arrow. The uh, sniper coming in as the uh, door gets open, but can't find that shot on bot mode. Ten minutes on the clock now. Not a lot of time to waste for this sniper shot. No. They've already been trying to make this push happen for almost four minutes. 
Oh, and they have a spy as well, so they're going for the double oh, pick sandblast. class. He missed a standing still sniper, unfortunately. Trip spy, sniper plus spy, all right, they're going all in on this. Yeah, oh, Jay gets the snipe on Marmalu, so. So now they're not... down one of their power classes and they've got two pick off classes. Yeah, certainly, you know, Gex oh. slows things down. There goes Sandblast as well. Counter snipe. With that sentry gun up, well, maybe he could stand in that corner and not get hit by that sentry gun. Yeah, I don't think he would get hit by it, actually. They pop if he now goes on for the point. It. He's going for dead. the zap. Now he's back on the gun. In the corner. On the cap. Lots of cap. Devilman's there. He could have stayed on it. Oh, Yoshi's there as they well. Dropped they dropped everybody. The they dropped five people. Oh, four of them gets juggled off. Get the capture. And yeah, <laughs> certainly unfortunate plays there. Sandblast coming in here and getting the sap, getting the capture there. But, you know, they, uh, uh, as we have a pause here, it seems. Looking at another pause. Mm -hmm. Could it be a miracle round comes out of four <laughs> and then we have an instant pause 90 seconds in the future because the the comeback oh, is we uh, can, uh we, can only, we can only hope, right? Yeah, yeah we can. Yeah, that, four, was, that, that was that was pretty crazy. Play, yeah. Um it, it you'd think it would never work. You got two pick classes, you lose two people, and you just have a spy. I think honestly, Yite, he's He's being a little bit greedy on NG. He keeps peeking in the lobby and all this. He was just, yeah. you know, playing it cool, chilling with the sentry. That spy would never be, you know, a factor. Um, you know, the the times he got picked, the damage he's taking. I think he is creating a bit of an opening for Ford playing like that. Um, yeah. But ultimately, it was it was just really good on the the part of Ford uh, when they pop there, finding those frags, people that are caught in, because too many times they let people escape. Um, 404 was thinking, you know, he'd just run away, but everyone else on 100B was maybe thinking we go for this exchange. So a uh, little bit of a desync between the team is going to result in dropping five players and going for that roll. So here we are, two round difference now with uh, about nine minutes on the clock. Yeah, there's still definitely plenty of time, you know, has plenty of wiggle room as well. We'll see how it goes. Bomb mode does eat a sticky right away. Side taking that battlement spot. Trip boy going for the big bomb up top here as he's coming in here. Doesn't find big target. Marmalou coming in from behind though. Will find bomb mode. Showstopper extremely low as well. There's a scout over in corridor that uh, I think was Yike. Will be able to get the kill on Trip boy. 4v4. What can Sai do? He needs to hit some good damage here. Hits the soldier. Just got to force them out here. Scout on the point. Will he get shredded? He will. Oh, and the soldier's weak as well. Oh. Are they going to yeah. chase this all the way? They've got the momentum. They've got all the picks here. Bot mode is a spawner. He's going to be behind them. Yeah, this Uber's is ready. getting intense here. Veridac they rotate to the fight charge. in the lobby. Sai is challenging them. They split up. 4-4 doesn't have Uber yet. He's 90%. Yeah. And Sai got, is still peeking. He's gotten the kill on bot mode, but they have backed up for now. 4-4. Looks like he will be able to get the charge here. Yep, they gotta make something happen. While bot mode's dead, that means the chokes are slightly less pressured. Yosh is in! Yosh is Yosh. in! He's on the point! Completely the undetected. The, Jay is the Uber charge is out. Yosh! Still gets about half the time, though. That's three players three still down. Are they going? Are they going? Trip boy looking for the bomb They're over in. the top here. They're in! Sai also pressuring from the Sai here. Sam bot mode is so Marlou weak. In. They're getting pressure on the point. And 4-4 four, four in trouble! Ford Take making... another round. That three, was a... One. Fast round. We have the tactical pause coming from 100B. It was a relatively short one, so whatever they're gonna do, they they discussed it and they're they're just gonna play their game. But these mids have been looking good from Ford. If they can keep this up, they they could tie this up. They have enough time to win one round. That's for sure. Yeah, four three. The score on the board. 400 beasts. Plenty of money on the line as the losing team takes third place here in RGLGG. Marmalou with the big bomb. We also saw Showstopper coming across your trip wide, trying to get response, uh, uh, just results from that. Not able to do so. Showstopper coming in, get damage on shot side. Side's gonna need something to stay alive. He's not gonna be able to get it. His bear deck already dead to Jay. Ford Gaming in some trouble here. No Yosh way. Four down, four lives with four well. HP again. That mid, the soldiers from 100B were just given too much freedom. Showstopper got in behind on the house, and he just had a great flank there. Ash living the whole time. Trip got overextended. He landed in the enemy yard, and he just got focused down really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's saying in chat, it worked. I guess referring to the tactical pause and whatever mid fight they called out there. 
But at the same time, six minutes is still a lot. The Beast need to get around on the board to just close this map out, close this match out. If it goes on and if they fail push here, and if Ford can get some forward momentum, they can still tie this up. The push coming in from minute. Banana, though. Trip is up on a bit of a ledge above the point, so that you hopefully don't have to worry too much about the cap time here. Trip's gonna yep. drop down, kills the scout. Four four's dead, looking good, but the soldier's in on the bear. Bear goes down. Yo, standing tall on the heavy weapons guy. Right now, taking some damage with the get the kill on Showstopper Samblist, saying beast in chat <laughs> as they hold the point. I'm not sure what what spurred that, but yeah, they're gonna be pushing out here. Marmalu, I think, on the pain train. No, he's not anymore actually. So cap time's not gonna be as fast. Spawns coming up sooner from the side of 100B, and they're already moving to Alley. They're looking to force this in. That pick on Jay would be so crucial. Whoa, Marmalu lands on them right in the doorway. Gets the demo in the scout. Trip flanking the scout, caught in. And now there's the scout with the follow-up. Wow. That's three picks. Ash, maybe with the desperation, they're leaving. This mid yeah. has just changed hands. Both those soldiers jumping away. And Ford side just goes deep. Side going deep. <laughs> yeah, Sandblast still continues to cheer his team on and chat. They Whoa! deny the spawns as well. This is so crucial. Bot mode is not in position. They flood through. They see Ash. He is not there. The Ubers are even though. But now we have four minutes for Ford to crack this last open and tie this game. Long that time here, getting the capture on second. 404. Slight Uber ad here. But it's just going to be seconds later for Baradactyl here. Marmalu going in. There's no charge yet. The Sentry actually throws him forward, but can't quite find the kill on 404. So Ford Gaming going to take their time with this a little bit. They have plenty of it. Four minutes. I mean, they've got a few attempts. Jay on the sniper. This has been dangerous. Showstopper spy. 100B taking some risks here mm -hmm. with their backs against the wall to make this hold happen. And uh, it sort of looks like Ford Gaming might, you know, find the angle of attack here. I mean, if they push in through their right side, that closet side could avoid the sniper and just kind of stay tucked away. But uh, they're going to come in here. There is a trap there. This is actually both um, soldier and scout coming in here for a sack. Marmalu takes out the sentry. Jumping yeah. forward. Trip Josh may go for it as well. Trip's in. Yeah, he's coming they in. Pop. They do force oh, it's out. an exchange. Kill the NG! Oh my that god. That has gone down. Bot They're trying to back out dead, here. So. Baradactyl in here, still healing Sandblast though. We'll go down here. Oh, watch. He arrow. is trying to fight. But Bomo down. It's 5v5 though, so Ford Gaming might just wait it out here, go for another exchange. Yeah, or they might just go for the dry push. They're positioning in lobby, looking pretty aggressive here. The thing is, if they throw the Sandblast Spy, wow, taking such a huge mm. risk here. And they still sort of have some time for it. Yeah. You've got to stick with your guns of, you know, what what got you into second place here. Uh, potentially the lower bracket final game. Oh, Sandblast eats a rocket coming in, though. They so don't they see it. They don't it. see yeah, it. Yeah, I know. He's waiting for the decloak here. He's got a decent chance here. We've seen some epic moments on this... Metalworks last from spies here. Horsa uh, being probably the most memorable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually in this exact position that Sandblast is in right now. The uncloak is coming in any moment. Bear yeah. drop. Oh my. Sandblast is going to hold for the back cap. I'm not sure how that's possible. The bear just yeah. dropped there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how Showstopper got him either. Sandblast still lurking in here. This He's time, still Yite learning his lesson, chilling on last. Is he though? He oh, the one one. in here. The pistol's out. He gets the pistol kill. Wait, He's on it. Wait. Oh, and he gets a pistol kill. Showstopper. He's standing on it. No! He gets it. Sandblast, the hero spy play. There are two minutes left on the clock. That is gonna hurt their mentality. Ford's got to be playing confident. They're typing already. But they should. They need to take this like seriously. They need to. Stay focused. This mid and round yeah. could still go either way. There is this enough isn't... time, but Ford have all the momentum in the world. This is not the third map here. 100 B is surging out into this uh, mid fight. Trip Y with the big bomb. Showstopper also trying to big bomb, but it's Trip Y who gets bomb mode. Baradactyl down. Bear is dead. 
Four four lead. Barmaloo with the bomb over the top here. He's gonna keep the beast backed up for now, but it doesn't really matter. Sandblast and Sai gotta go big here. Sandblast trying to be clever underneath the point, but he gets found by Yite. A minute fifteen on the clock here. Oh no, Sai is going for something risky. Okay. We're gaming. Are oh gonna Sai, have to... Sai, if you die, it's all over. I think he's gonna stay there. Okay. He's... Why would he go for the health pack? Oh my god. Yeah, that's some wackiness. 60 oh. seconds on the clock. 100B will go all in. Absolutely no breaks. Yeah, they have a full Uber charge advantage here. They could book themselves a spot oh, in the grand finals. Nice They've pick. lost Showstopper on that trap from Sai. They still look like they're full speed ahead here. They're going to pop around this corner here as they come in here. Bot mode throwing in. The soldier bomb by Ash as well coming in here. Trip throwing a sky high. The sentry gun is down. Trip has gone down, but the push kind of back uh, up to closet. Sandblast getting kills here. Bombing from Ash. He's in a little bit of trouble here. And oh, big rockets from Marmalou as he's surviving. 4-4 okay, gonna push. go down just don't showstopper. Push. 15 okay, seconds left. Push. He gets cleared out. Sandblast says <laughs> Lamau. We've and got we overtime. Are gonna go to the golden round. They 4-0 down. They bring it back, tie it up 4-4. They they just made miracles happen there. They did not give yeah. up. That that is very respectable by Ford. I've seen these exact same players like just give up, and it it pays off to to just see it to the end. They are mm -hmm. here, still complete contenders on this. And I mean, we've been going for uh. A while at this point and there's potentially a third map on the way so yeah certainly i mean we're uh you know two and a half hours of uh, uh chill time you know not full game time but yeah certainly quite a bit of tf2 and you know you have to wonder if the you know kind of um favorites in 100 beasts you know like if this drags on you know what is that mentality going into goalie wash uh, of course you know if we're gaming lose this round you know we don't we really need to ask any further questions about anybody's mentality because you know uh the match will be over and hunter beast will move uh forward but um you know this is a, an insane round for for gaming um they certainly got to be you know hyped up feeling themselves right now uh they've you know I mean, both teams have put a lot of work in this season you know as you mentioned a lot of the feelings of the invite players you know very invested in this season um a lot of teams just kind of put you know, a lot into trying to get set up for the season, basically, and not just the disappointment of, you know, this land not happening in a land format. But, you know, there was another event in January that teams kind of formed up for that didn't happen. So just kind of a lot of weight on on the shoulders of this season, I think. And certainly yeah. Ford Gaming feel like they're ready to take it on right now. Yeah, it is a bit unfortunate that there's not a lot of opportunities throughout the year to kind of like you know, measure where your team stands and prove yourself. So these opportunities that are few and far between these these playoffs, they really want to make it count. It's really yeah. rewarding, you know, as a player to just be on one of these teams and work your way up and see yourself in the playoffs and all that. But if that opportunity only comes like twice a year, it, it can be, yeah, a bit anticlimactic the rest of the year. Yeah. And you, you just want to, you want to go all out. Thankfully, these guys are making it count, this opportunity that they mm -hmm. do have. Bringing this match to such, bring it to the brim. You know, it's it's so close here. Um, I I'm curious to see how this is gonna play out. I think, I feel like it's gonna be a mid mid to last. Like this match so far, that's been the last four rounds. It's just been it's been pure momentum, and I mm -hmm. think, I think this next mid, you know, it just decides it all. I've seen hundred B versus Ford. I believe honestly in an overtime in one of their previous matches, that was exactly what happened. They went into overtime and then 100B just rolled them in like 80 seconds. So, um, you know, it could it could happen very well right here again. Yeah, that that is about the kind of the standard for um, overtime, right? You know, it's either 150 seconds or, you know, feels like more like 15 minutes or something like that. You know, like you either get a round that's just like super quick or, you know, you can slow it down and get that tempo. But um, you're right. You know, it feels like that this match, you know, that started off with a 30 minute half for one round, you know, has now all of a sudden, you know, accelerated more into the realm of, you know, three minute rounds. So, yeah, that's interesting. You'd think if both teams are playing really well, they'd be going back and forth. But it seems like if these teams are playing well, it's just uh, 
you know, they wipe the other team entirely and then they make quick rounds happen and they just trade off that. So it's it's interesting. Um, I wonder if slowing it down favors Ford at all. But I mean, ultimately, I don't think they're going to concede mid. So it's kind of whatever happens on mid, it's yeah. they got to play at whatever pace is set by that. And, um, you know, Bear's been dying a lot on these mids and we've been seeing sort of these desperation moves to chase out 100B while 404 is on the, the retreat. <laughs> I, I feel like they can't afford that again. Like, if 404 yeah. lives this next mid, I think 100B will probably take it. Um, so it either needs to be medic trades or, you know, uh, I don't know, retreat early type thing. I don't, yeah. I don't think, I don't think they can afford that because it's just been too many miracle holds. Can they, do they have an, another miracle up their sleeve? I mean, we'll see. Yeah, it's certainly an awkward um, dichotomy for Ford Gaming where, you know, on one hand, they just need to continue to focus on the fundamentals. But then on the other hand, like they do need to bring the aggression, you know, in and play to win, you know, which is kind of a corny phase. But, you know, you have to be aggressive. You have to make aggressive movements, aggressive rotations, you know, aggressive pushes. And, you know, that could, <laughs> that could flare out very quickly on the mid fight. But also it is sort of, you know, what they have to do to, to deal with 100B here. Yeah, definitely. If you had to pick a player to watch for the next mid, who do you think it's uh, going to be the high impact player or the decider here? Um, quite, you know, I, probably somebody from the Ford Gaming side. You know, whether it's Cy yeah. or or Trip Boy. You know, yeah. For me personally, um, I got to go Trip. I feel like yeah. his his results on these mids are so crucial. He's if he's yeah. dead first, the mid is usually lost. But if he finds that bomb, then Ford is always in a great position. So I think my eyes are going to be on Trip for this next mid. We'll see if mm -hmm. he can go for it. Trip has been, you know, he's been, um, you know, a, a selfless player on these mids. He's just been going for it. You know, even with all this pressure, he just he knows he's got to go. He can't be sitting around. So it's it's uh it's admirable, you know, that he's not um, playing scared. There have been players and teams in the past honestly even marmalou you know on previous teams where his his play style in scrims and then his play styles in the important matches are just night and day where he's playing scared mm -hmm. i never really see that from trip he does go for the risks even if it means his kd suffers at times or he you know makes a fool of himself missing every rocket but at least he goes for it you know and you got to respect that um i yeah. think marmalou maybe has changed that about his play style because he has been stepping up here um, something that maybe some of his previous teams would have liked to see. Um, so those soldiers, yeah, they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be the decider in my opinion. This mid, uh, I'll be on trip. Yeah. As far as hundred B goes, I think J might be the player to watch. I think if he gets that free space pushing across the point. Um. Yeah. He 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 gets a lot done. You know, he just lives yeah. forever and. Yeah, it just it, it tends to go 100B's favor. So if Trip dies early, um, it's going to 100B. If J dies early, it's going to Ford. That's how I see it. Yeah, that that sounds about right. Jay has been super influential. Um, you know, he's had a great match, and um, obviously, you know, the demo men from both sides going to be spitting things out. But that's a circumstance as well where you know there there are mid fights where the demo man goes down and you still win it because there's just too much commitment and they've already put out too much damage. So. We are going live here. Our <laughs> golden cap time limit zero. So uh, there's a know. tease. <laughs> yeah, could be going for quite a while. Could be a quick one. Was just a tease. Not going quite yet. Um, but our second map here, ladies and gentlemen, 100 beasts taking our first one. If they take it, uh, take the second one, they guarantee themselves at least second place. Sending Ford Gaming towards third. But it's anybody's gaming right now. We could still have that third map goalie wash. Our final mid of Metalworks underway right now. All right, here we go. Like I said, I'm going to be watching Trip. It all comes down to this. So much pressure. Everything on the line. Trip gets in clean. Some early point presence, though, from 100B. Trip's going to be trying to move forward. They juggle a soldier up in the air. Ash is very weak, down to 30 HP. Trip jumping forward. Both the soldiers basically out of play 100B. But forward, so passive. They're giving up so much room here. Yeah, Showstopper got kind of cut out on Choke. Jay now getting some Ash, space so to work here on point. Ash getting pushed back. It's going to be Trip Boy, the first one down, though. We'll see if your prediction holds true. As Hunter Beast now surging forward. Showstopper gets some splash out here. He will get Pterodactyl as well. 
I think that was another drop too. Ah, uh, it might have been. He was really close in the Uber, but yeah. They they hesitate so much. Ash went down to 30 health like twice there. Showstopper not in the fight. You just want to see Ford taking the point there, but yeah, that's the death. Force comes out. Marmalu gets the force. The hero that they needed. That's clutch. But it was exactly as I thought. Trip dies first. The mid goes. And now Sai is kind of alone here trying to defend second. The question is, will his team help him here or will they go back to last? Looks like indecision on both sides. But 100B going to realize they have the point and they're going to take it. So now 100B poised to, uh, you know, make plays into last year. Yeah, Thankfully I mean, it's even. Yeah, exactly that. Because Ford Gaming still have a little bit of a hope here. Sandblast going for the... Uh, the alpha defensive spy play when your entire match is on the line. Uh oh, we'll have to see how that goes. So crazy that they might not expect it. <laughs> right now he's just waiting for information. 404 so far back right now, playing it incredibly safe. It's gonna get that Uber. And now Sandblast here. But if this goes wrong, you know, if, if 100B gets some sort of pick or, you know, gets the force while Sandblast is dying, it, it yeah. will mean the end of the round, so. This and they're, why... they're calling for Spy. They're very paranoid right now. This is why this play is such high risk, high reward, because you don't get anything from it, and, you know, you just provide the other team with so much time to attack with a, a person advantage. Sandblast might just go for the stab on Ash. Oh, and Mama he whips died. it! Oh, and he's not going to get out of this. Wait, oh. but they bait a scout and Jay goes down. And do they bait another? They bait three. Oh my god. So Sandblast Big Brain bait spy, a completely new playstyle, is going to get two extra picks for his team by beefing a stab. Unbelievable. And they push out of last. Yeah, so crazy. So crazy. <laughs> It'll just work. <laughs> it works. They, they don't, you know, have enough of an advantage to move off this. So they are still on the defensive, but a little bit more breathing room. Yeah, it was really the kill on um, bot mode there that, that opened that up. You know, yeah, Sandblast a good distraction. I think that was Sai who, who picked that off. But, you know, without that, Sandblast probably would have got cleaned up and that would have gone the other way. So, um, but yeah, space, sure. space created. Yeah, good good job on Sai. You know, those picks on bot mode, they have been happening throughout this match. And it's definitely created a lot of those openings. Um, so good on Sai for finding that trap kill. Um, right now we see the oh. alley bomb they run into each other in, in the sky, but yeah, and Bear has bomb. learned his lesson. He is out the shutter, not dropping that Uber, not today. Yeah, the second bomb getting shut down. Bomb mode still nice traps in hallway, but Marmalu will be able to jump Onto through without him. The bomb traps are still there. Arrow. Wow. Okay, Marmalu taken out as bomb mode stays up. And bomb mode nearly getting isolated there, but the arrow comes in, so not really going to be possible for a solo soldier to do that much. Now they're moving into alley, 100B. It has been spotted. The jump Ash. comes forward from Ash. He's yeah. going to just curve back, oh. hits an air shot on a trip. Yike yeah. drop. Oh, they let Ash out. If Ash dies there, that would have been a great opportunity to push it through. Yeah, he hit one nice rocket there. We sort of saw it on camera. Couldn't hit the follow-up though to get the kill. Thanks, yep. So they're just gonna keep trying this, this play one after another. Will they run a sniper here? Will they run a spy? And all they need is it to work once, and that's the match. Mm -hmm. And still just kind of standard lineups by both teams. We'll see what the Beast might choose to do here. I'd imagine, you know, we'll see a bomb in through Alley at some point. The the big question is where, whether Baradactyl will be able to hold on to it or uh, if they can make him pop. Yep, they're moving Definitely. in now. Showstopper getting that buff. He jumps forward. Not too high. Mm -hmm. He's going to reset, going to go back. Bot mode a bit aggressive there, too. Over an alley. They notice bot mode is not holding house. Oh, but the bomb on the side. Sai living just barely wow. there. They, they do find uh, Marmalu there as uh, he was poking around. But yeah, exactly. Baradactyl staying alive. They're not using that Ubercharge. Bot mode kind of forward down um, underneath. Take some damage, but he's fine. Yep. Now the jump, Ash. Ooh. No, Bear doesn't see it. Oh, he has to use that time. Ash down. Showstopper just respawning now. They're not really going to be able to get that far in a hallway, though, with this Uber Charge. And, and the question just is, enough what for is, a sticky trap. What is Sandblast looking at there? How is that soldier getting in clean? You hear the rockets. Yeah. You know, that's really the only thing that can go wrong there. Ash just goes for it, probably not expecting much, but finds the force. 100% Uber, but 60% add. It, 
Bear is building his Uber up. They already have a sentry on last. Marmaloo's trying to get through house. Will they sack Marmaloo for this forest? Trip also in underpass. Marmaloo commits into alley. Yeah, Trip coming in as Trip well here, as but they've well. already gotten the forest, Sai so two die. players. We're the forest here. Bomb it's gonna over be the a top here. Sai yeah. needs to lock down two of these chokes at least. Let Seems the sentry like... cover the right side. Seems like they're thinking they can maybe get in here dry with these two players still down here. Bot mode putting up some pressure Uber's here. Ready from Ash. Sandbox. He could take this into them. Ash trying to jump oh. forward. Still On the cleaning and lobby. Nice pick. Mm. I think they should push this out. They have ad. Would have liked yeah. to see them take that immediate Uber as bot mode was peeking on bridge because uh, 404 was in the right lobby as well, potentially pickable there. Yeah, they Uber right through the shutter. That trap is still behind them. Psy commits into house. Wow. Lots of damage onto bot mode. They do Very get that far. kill. Bot wow. mode down. Yeah, the scout rotating out. Oh, and Showstopper's in his spot. The spot that he used eight times in his last match on the in this map. <laughs> but they find him! Thank yeah. God they checked it this time. They did not fall for it. But why yeah. are they... Oh! oh. Wow, Sandblast Sandblast finds was, the force! He was going for it. Couldn't get the kill or the drop, but he does get the force. Just about as good. Baradactyl now with... Uh, about a 50% ad. Yeah, that was a hero play. Absolutely there. Great job from Sandblast. Um, now he's keeping his team actually in the lead here in terms of Uber. So they're going to have a chance to Uber into mid. He's not quite in position yet, spawning, but he's going to make it there just in time. They're moving into Yard. Yite getting juggled. Pretty good damage on him. Ash is up in the choke. They have been putting a lot of flank pressure here. So this is going to be on Marmaluta. to... You know, stand his ground here in the house. He does so on the pipe. Look who went behind Ash. Yike goes, or Showstopper got behind. But kills yeah. on the bot mode. Ash also incredibly weak. Now Showstopper has to salvage, but Yosh is aware that he's behind. This is amazing right now for four. They can move forward. Only two people sitting forward if they deny these spawns. Ah, Yike's gonna get it, but the cleanup Showstopper. Yeah, Great job. Trip right on top of that spawn door as well. So he's oh. gonna have to cycle. 100B is conceding second. I thought they would have been standing the ground there with Jay, but now look at this. Ford is in position to win this match. If they bait out a bad push from 404, that can mean the end here. That is how they've won a few of these rounds. Look at Yosh hiding lower ramp. Yeah, it's gonna be checking it. Doesn't quite check the corner. Getting that force on the point. Bot mode is so weak. Yeah, 404 wants to get out here. They the trap, around. and they drop two, they drop oh. three! It's happening, Yosh it, is running to last. Showstopper being fought on the bridge. 404 did not pop yet, but that force is coming out. Oh. Any moment now. Yeah, Yosh trying to keep that pressure the closet. in. Yeah, he's going for the job, and 404 completely isolated here. He's gonna that's have the to force. use here. But they Uber charge is coming in from behind it. Just Uber, just Uber, kill bot mode. Yeah, Sandblast has the Uber charge now, soaking it. 404 backing up here. Players oh, all around, Sandblast has gotten the kill on Showstopper, no pressure on point yet. Good damage, Ash. good damage. Ash is sitting there with 15 HP. The bomb from Marmalade. Oh, he gets destroyed though. Trip Trip's bombing behind. across. They're doing he gets 4 4 and bomb mode. It. Ash is down. Yeah, it has to get out here and contest. He cannot. Five round comeback, Ford Gaming wow. built for tough. They done it, they won map two. That is insane, that comeback. 100B, normally a, a team that thrives at the end of the match, Ford showing that they can do that too. They bring it all the way back. This match is not over. This last map could be anyone's map. The first one was so close. The second one even closer, if that's even possible. And now we're going to Gully Wash, which really could go either way. Momentum in Ford's yeah. favor, but the the pick probably normally would you'd think it would be 100B's stronger map, but at this point, it's too close to call. Yeah, heart rate bumping because uh, that was quite the finish. I mean, Golden Cap and Ford Gaming backed up all the way to their last. This has just been an insane series. Legendary TF2 right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, spread the word because, you know, I know it's late night esports right now, but uh, this is amazing stuff going on right now. Goalie Wash coming our way. Um, Ford Gaming versus 100B in the lower finals of this Season 2 Traditional Sixes. This has been insane stuff. What a game from Ford Gaming. And uh, Goalie Wash going to be coming up next. Yeah. Wow. Um, do we have some stats to look at? And also perhaps, Banny, my friend, you think you could uh, ramble for a second while I run to the facilities? Um, sure, I can try. Let's take a look at these stats here. So, wow. Two maps back-to-back, -back, one round difference. 100B taking the first one, the second one going to Ford in a five-round comeback insane considering that um 
100 B didn't really lose any matches this season to Ford. That's a great statement that they're keeping this this close and even coming out ahead. Look at that uh, KD though from Psy, seven and O in that uh, golden cap there, playing super solid in the second half. Um, or sorry, in the overtime, uh, as I said earlier, Psy steps up here, you're going to see good things from Ford, and it looks like he stepped up when it mattered the most. Meanwhile, um, you know, Jay struggling, so, and Bamo, zero kills and three and four deaths apiece, so it's kind of the exact opposite of what 100B is going to want, so, yeah, that's, that's a great, great end for Ford, they must be feeling amazing, um, but, you know, uh, Gully Wash is a whole new beast, to be honest, and uh, it's it's a tricky map for sure. I think that the styles generally favor 100B, um, in particular the way bot mode likes to play, pushing across the points and all that. But um, yeah, just super solid from the players that needed to be there in the in the overtime, and uh, yeah, yeah, just really impressed by Ford. I see Psy guy with that uh, crazy seven and O on uh, overtime. That, that really says something because yeah, demo man is just so clutch to everything that a team fortress team wants to have going on. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a couple Bohemians for those that understand the reference. Uh, Jay and Botmo. You know the the playoffs is not when you want to be dropping zero frags. It's really not the time. So oh. um, that's uh. Yeah, that's that's rough for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, it all comes down to those clutch moments, you know. And um, Ford Gaming certainly stepping it up, you know, kind of refusing to l let things go. And it certainly seemed like there were some moments where their mentality was slipping. You know, I kind of refer to the fact that basically, you know, our first half of the night was thirty minutes. It was one zero. And then at the start of that second half, they, they lost two rounds. And, you know, it, it felt like the beginning of a half that you see from a team that has lost that first half 3-0, you know, where they just, that first mid was terrible, quick round loss, and then another one. But they were able to buckle that down, you know, turn that map, you know, kind of close. Um, but then when it came to this map, you know, like they just, uh, you know, kind of refused to, to lose, to give it up. They lost that first half 3-0 and uh, just kept pushing with it, you know, and um, rolled it back, you know, so strong, showing a lot stronger mental fortitude in that second map, in the second half of that, and, you know, managed to drag us all the way through um, uh, overtime into this final third map, and uh, certainly, you know, heading to um, late night TF2 where legends are born. Yeah, these late night matches, I've, I've been there. I think mm -hmm. I once had a a playoff match end at about 5 a.m. So um, I, I'm very familiar with this this type of, uh, you know, endurance test. Mm -hmm. You know, this is certainly, as you said, this is where, you know, the legends are, are made. Um, but I think these players are probably not going to want to drag this on too long. So hopefully they get this started. Um, I'd love to see us get right back into the action. But uh, thinking about this this third map here, Gully wash. Um, do you have any any thoughts how you think, you know, based on what you've seen so far and what you know of these teams, how do you think this map, um, you know, uh, sizes up for each team? Well, certainly there's going to be that question, which, you know, um, towards the end of the second map there on Metalworks, you know, Ford Gaming were starting to figure it out, but they had some problems pushing into process, you know, on Metalworks until really things started clicking. They had some issues. And I, I don't know, goalie wash just feels kind of notoriously difficult to, to push into last. So you sort of have to wonder, you know, if that's going to be an issue for them. Sort of the flip side of that argument is that, you know, goalie wash does, you know, lend itself to kind of like un, untraditional um, pushes, you know, kind of working odd tactics and stuff. And it seems like Sandblast and the crew are doing a pretty good job of just kind of being aware of those things and, and being comfortable in those sort of situations. Um, Sandblast is, start, is starting to turn it up. Uh, Yosh certainly has been turning up as well. Um, that, you know, last uh, overtime round from uh, Psy Guy was great. And if they can keep that up, you know, keeping a counter on bot mode and keeping their, their scouts clicking, then, you know, Ford Gaming certainly have a way to get into this match. Um, in some ways, I don't know, I feel like this map, like you don't have the same 
level of like where the f did that you know soldier just come from you know like there are bombs that obviously it's still important getting behind being a distraction but i'm not sure if showstopper and ash will be able to be you know quite as effective in that role on this map yeah i think that's a great point i do think bear will have an easier time keeping track of those bombs on this map mm -hmm. um which you know in that last map was a big factor he he dropped a few times so if he can completely eliminate that as he started doing when they mounted that comeback you know he cut that out as a as they needed to so hopefully you can keep that up and this map keep track of everybody the one exception to being able to keep track of everyone of course is the notorious drop down soldiers yeah. coming up from that can be pretty dangerous but um i know that uh the soldiers of ford also like to take advantage so we may be seeing some drop down shenanigans throughout this match um but yeah generally uh i think i think bear will have a better time here i think they're they're fairly comfortable in this map. I I don't know though. I really don't know yeah. if 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 that's going to be uh the case. I guess I haven't played honestly. I haven't had the chance to play against 100B much cuz they've never scrimmed us. It's only mm -hmm. been the matches where we've faced off against them. So that's kind of all I can go off of and you know the matches that I've watched, but for me the things that I internalize the most are, you know, when I lived it, when I was there and I I had to adapt on yeah. in the moment myself. So I don't really know what to expect too much. I just know th the only thing that I have in mind here is bot mode is going to push the point. Yeah. And if he is not stopped pushing the point on mid, he is going to do insane amounts of damage. And I don't think that um, it's going to be as easy to pressure him as they were on Metalworks. There were a couple mids on Metalworks where Sandblast, like he held W under the point and he was right up in bot mode's face. Bot right. mode was the first pick. I don't see that happening here. And I think that yeah. that really favors 100B. Yeah, the, the mid fights, you know, do seem like a little bit more, I guess, closer to process than Metalworks. Um, I mean, both mids kind of have high flying, you know, soldiers around, but with that like center point structure of Metalworks and kind of like the battlements and some of the other like high ground structures, there's a lot of ways for scouts to be able to, you know, like contest that. You really just have the spire in the center of the map. And I mean, process, you got the containers in the center of the map, but you always have these like big bombs from soldiers just like rotating around the point and um, goalie wash mid, you know, feels kind of uh, reminiscent to that, you know, compared to Metalworks, but we'll see. Yeah. Another thing about this mid with 100B's tendency to have players living with 10 HP, they're probably going to be on the floor all the time trying to catch those arrows. Mm -hmm. So that'll be another big test for Ford is can they clean up those players that take that early damage and then fall to the floor? Because 100B are going to be trying to just live down there for as long as possible. And we still have a couple players um, just kind of lingering on things, but we should be getting going um, pretty soon here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, if any of your friends are still up, please spread the word because we want to keep pushing that viewership up. Um, also, of course, you know, give a like and follow here. You know, uh, we're going to have the uh, grand finals coming up quite possibly tomorrow uh, for this, you know, traditional six invite division. Um, of course, you know, this um this this division of the traditional sixes is wrapping up but rglgg has you know highlander playoffs going on right now we got prolander coming up we got no restricted sixes and then of course we have season three of sixes not too long around the corner so if you're interested in sixes um you know head over to rgl.gg the discord's super active there's pug groups there's uh people looking for players there's there's all sorts of ways to get involved so you know head on over keep checking it out but thanks again so much for joining us tonight it's been fantastic so far yeah agreed yeah I'd, I'd like to remind everyone you know while we are watching the highest level of play here and uh um you know getting excited over all these top players um rgl is a place for everybody mm -hmm. they have divisions for players of all skill levels and they try to create an inclusive you know uh, welcoming and accessible environment for everybody and that's just a continued goal of theirs so uh, I like to applaud them for sticking to that over the years and uh, yeah, stepping up for the, the community when we needed it after you mm -hmm. know, ESEA went away. Um, you know, it, it's come a long way, that's for sure. And uh, yeah. I'm impressed that they stuck with it and they've been sticking to the content and the vision of the league. Yeah, and um, there's been some other stuff happening around um, in North America, just kind of some small community organizers. There's like a quarantine b-ball tournament coming up i know i've heard some other um rumblings about ulti duo and stuff and 
knows if we'll get some there's like a i don't know a college discord that got spun up but uh certainly a lot happening um one other event that i want to give a quick shout out to it's uh over in the uh european region of global team fortress but we're gonna have the tf2 lockdown throwdown happening uh april 10th and 11th over on crits cast and they got something like close to 60 teams signing up for it so it should be a pretty intense two-day period of tf2 cool looks like yosh has finished his prolonged bathroom break that he is so famous for taking at the most inconvenient times and uh they'll probably get started here soon yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Um, I, you know, we had Granary Week at the end of uh, Intermediate, and uh, Granary, you know, the oldest surviving map of the map pool. Goalie Wash, though, the uh, quick second, uh, just such a, a classic map for TF2. Seeing the uh, 100B readying up now, um, and it looks like the the fans at home are favoring Ford for this. I think. Uh... Yeah. Off that huge comeback, how could you not be rooting for them at this point? Um, Sandblast hit, hitting a bit of a lag spike, but it looks like it's going back down. So I think they'll probably be starting this any moment. Um, but as we've seen, you know, we've seen uh, that maybe the start isn't everything. You know, Ford proving that yeah. as long as you finish strong, you can still be in this. But I'm going to be uh, putting a a lot of weight on the start of this match. I think setting the tone is always important. You don't want to be relying on coming back from behind and the miracles. So yeah. the player I want to watch here is bot mode because if he's if he's getting that space on the mid, um, it's gonna be uh, a hard time for hundred or uh, for Ford. Yeah, certainly. Do you, you think uh, just generally we'll have a faster paced game, or do you think we'll still kind of have that like slow first half, second half like sort of feel? Our first maps, um, second maps. I think it'll be more akin to what we saw in Metalworks for sure. A lot more fast rounds. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna see a lot of like um we're gonna see a lot of fights just decided like in a split second. It's gonna be, you know, pushing through that choke and who hits the damage, do they get in clean? And they're just gonna go off that. I think um both these teams are gonna be peaking and playing confident off their advantages. Um, but I think they're also both going to be standing their ground at disadvantages. So it's going to create a lot of those situations where neither team necessarily has a huge advantage. It's going to come down to, you know, who can execute better in the moment. Um, so especially on the chokes of this map, um, it yeah. can be very punishing if you hesitate too much. So that that's where it's going to be decided in a lot of these team fights, I suspect. Do you think that, um, I don't know. Do you do you see hundred B slip in? You feel like they're going to be able to uh, recover well, on this, or I got to stand by my initial prediction that Ford will win this. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I when when things weren't looking good, I admit I I faltered. I should have <laughs> I should have stayed the course. That's all right. Um, oh. but they they proved proved me wrong so far. Let's see if uh, now they can prove me right. Yeah, I'm or just maybe watching they Psy. benefit from the you know caster's curse. Maybe they're trying to just. Yeah, prove me wrong. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Sai is hitting some sick uh, pregame pipes, though. So um, that's that's always good to see. And uh, I I like the the underdog. I'm like a, a proponent and an arguer for you know momentum in TF2. And you just gotta love that comeback though that they had. And um, I mean I know that Jay and Yai they're they're very focused players as well as bot mode. You know, they're going to be trying to make these adjustments, but, you know, at the same time, when you're getting into really late night, you know, like, do you have that, you know, fortitude to like rally your team around to like stay focused, to bring this back together and to turn this into a W? Yeah, for sure. It's the ultimate test. Yeah, still uh, waiting to get rolling here, um, but uh, imagine we should be going um, pretty soon here. As a showstopper flips his team over to ready again. Yes, looks like everyone's moving around, so it's probably just that last second pep talk. Yeah, final adjustments. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if if Ford can do this, I mean, I think uh, you'd have to start respecting Sandblast as a as a leader here, assuming he's the one that's taking charge in these moments. I think he's had a, you know, a shaky history, you know, where he does let his team sort of fall apart or his, his head's not in it. Though I will, I will have to acknowledge that a few of them have been in the stream chat. I'm not a fan of seeing that. 
I'd rather them, you know, be yeah. locked away in the right, chamber, right. you know, just till it's done, you know. But yeah. they're kind of maybe getting themselves a bit distracted. They got to remember it's not over yet. And here we go into map three. This decides it. Who will be in the grand finals? Who will go home third place? We're going to be watching this mid unfold. I'll be watching bot mode. Yeah, certainly Ford Gaming. They got a lot to prove. 100 Bs have been the favorite um, throughout this season when it comes to these two teams matching up. But Ford Gaming super practiced as we're getting as we've gotten into this playoff series. Sai taking his side pretty early. Big bomb over the top here from Marmalou, but just getting back over to his medic. Showstopper on the low ground. He's kind of spotted though. We'll see if he can get up. He jumps over to elbow. But not really going up. Bot mode walking forward. Good damage from 100 B. Jay goes down. They're tra trading frags. Mm. Sai yeah. still on those booties too. Yeah, two frags from Sai. Yosh going for the kill on Showstopper here. Oh, Showstopper does get the Medic Baradactyl. He couldn't cross over. Yosh will get away there. But 100B do get the edge out of this fight. Yeah, ends up being more on the soldiers there. Showstopper getting in far into the, the choke. And uh, yeah, Bear going down means they're going to be holding last here. They've already got the sentry going up. We saw them hold this situation many times. Um, but certainly not, not the easiest thing in the world. They got a pyro, or sorry, they had a pyro, they swap it off, gonna just put down a sentry near the point instead. I, I personally prefer the pyro here, it helps yeah. to really mitigate a lot of that uber disadvantage, but we'll see what they can do. They can't put too many people in spawn, only 55%, so they just gotta put those buffs out. Okay, the pyro's in now. Okay, here comes the overcharge. Jay trying to get in here. We'll get on the sentry gun. Pyro can't do a whole lot. Still just trying to air blast back some of these soldiers. 404 did go down the side there afterwards. Lots of people near the port. Yeah, he's behind the point, but I think it will get cleared up. Botmo trying to come in here. He also gets taken down. Showstopper taken out by Sai, who wrapped around to get him down. Jay and Yite escape. Jay, very low health. He's going all the way back to spawn. That was a great hold. And one of uh, Ford's sleeper strategies is busting out that heavy late in the hold. He comes in with tons of health and 100B, they aren't able to, you know, do enough damage that late in the fight. So, yeah, great job by Ford adapting their solid hold. Now they're up with a 70% add, pushing in through Big Door. They're already moving. The Ubers pop. Bot mode potentially getting caught here. Big Door, he's jumping away. Three people get out through Big Door. No one gets caught in, but that's going to be mid tra uh, trading hands. We might be in a leapfrog situation here. 50% advantage now for 404. Yeah, they're going to slow it down a little bit. Jay just trying to grind that last little bit of charge out. Veridactyl switching over towards backside near choke. See if the uh, beast can get in here. Joe Stopper trying to rotate. Don't think he's going to try the drop down, although, of course, as I say that, he goes for it. Yep, it's the exact oh. same thing we just saw. Mm -hmm. No one dies. They come in through big door. But this time the ad is a bit bigger for bear. It's 80% ad. So they'll have a little bit more time to work with here. Trip yep. gets in through the drop down. He gets spotted. He's going to be jumping up towards his own side. See if he can catch a soldier in. Good damage on the soldier. Mm. Yeah, hit that first Ash rocket. Well. Now gets the bottle. Needs some support. Here comes Sandblast with the overcharge. Sandblast will get Ash for the trade there. Showstopper in the drop down. I don't know if he was spotted, though. Uh, now they see early. him as oh, he jumps he up. Completely stopped. Completely 100B stuffed. trying to force their way in here without having Uber, and it completely backfires. Yeah, Yike goes down. Marmalou, Marmalou going for the big bomb around. He's on top of 404. Does get the kill there. Nice finish. Yep. Beautiful rocket there. Gets 404. Now they just need to play it tight. Make sure they don't throw this away. Yeah, just working the slow through choke. A lot of spam, but, you know, they just got to wait for those uh, soldiers to empty their clip. Yep. It's going to be a 70% add or so for Bear. Great job on that leapfrog. They found a couple picks, and then... Based off those picks, they got in through the flank and sandwiched. But 100B, admittedly, took a bit of a risky fight. I think they were banking mm -hmm. on Showstopper having a little bit cleaner of an entry. And maybe they thought that whoever was on cap would be alone or weak. But he ends up just getting melted. And the rest of the team capitalizing on that, not much to do. But the Uber's coming in through River. Sai Guy, Sandblast, they're in. The sentry is at the left spawn. Good damage. Jeez. Sentry goes down. The point is trapped. Bot mode getting destroyed up at the spawn. Sai has the trap. Now they've got ring, they've got good positioning, but that heavy's coming out, the counter heavy, just like they saw last time. Sai doesn't have the point trap, though. They're not going to cap this. A trip alive with just a slimmer, sliver of health. He's going to try to escape or maybe just hide in, uh, yeah, in water here. He's hiding in water, yeah, but Showstopper. Showstopper got him. 
Okay, well, Baradactyl ba backed out. You know, small consolation there, but they are going to have to fully concede um, mid or second here. Also getting some forward spawners, so that's all right. Well, it's not fully conceded yet because 100B are a bit slow getting up into river. So Ford yeah. are looking to fight this, and Sai is still spamming in. Ash bombs over towards Rock. He's unseen. They could get that pick on Ash. Oh, with the bomb over the head from Showstop. They... Oh, Uber's ready. Mm -hmm. Four or four. So, yeah, probably better that they don't stay there. Uber's pop. They're going to lose another soldier here. Trip. Going to die. Yeah, Yoshi's Yoshi. on spot. Yeah, he's been on spy for a little bit here, and uh, this is always the nightmare of like you just end up on spy and you just end up being stuck behind. Oh, that was the scout team. Oh no, he comes in. He had a decent uh, stab opportunity. Did 404 just hit a saw though? I don't know. 40 percent now. Still 50 percent. Yeah. Oh, that was so messed yeah, up. Yeah, he did actually. Sai was a sniper in spawn. They should have been looking to put that Uber through choke with Sandbot, um, so that that sandwich could happen with their spy, but. It's not gonna happen. Trip with a massive bomb to rock. Mm. Or four this didn't is still have charge. Fightable. Yeah, uh, Sandbust NG, it's not gonna happen. Marmalu, uh, get some damage on bot mode. He was trying to jump up into a uh, river. Marmalu will have to back up now though. As he's already eating that health pack. They will be able to get back in the spawn and cycle. 404 though, with a good advantage here. We do have the uh, pyro out, that is Yosh. Yeah, we've gone last to last to last. Back and forth and back and forth. This Uber advantage is going to be coming in soon. Sandblast got a sentry over in the cubby with a pyro sitting right next to it. Uber charge Uber. is in. Yeah, JN bot show. mode. But really good rotations here. Sandblast looking to come back out here. There is Captain on the point though. That was uh, Jay working under secret. He gets on it again. Marmalou standing on it. But there's so much time on it. The soldier ass trying to stand on it. Right now bot mode pushing forward trying to get some stickies <laughs> the in heavy there. Again in clearing it offense. off. There's no way at this point. Yeah, showstopper being able to bully him out. That offensive heavy doing some work. Yep. They held it for a little bit. They denied that cap time, but in the in the midst of it all, Bear got picked. So without heals, trying to take out a 450 heavy, it's just not going to happen. Bit of a cheeky play, but it works out. Yeah, pressure coming forward. A big bomb in here from Marmalou. He's going to come across. Goes over to Bottle. Look at 404. Hesitating so much in yeah. Big one. No heals getting up to his team. He's really caught out here. They couldn't possibly win this without heals. But Marmalou they do. does go down. And they find Baradactyl. Jay going crazy. Gets a 3k. No heals for the entire team. And they still win that. Yeah, the Beast turning it up a bit here. For a second, it looked like they might be the ones crumbling. A reverse of how this entire match started, but right now they're finding their footing. Yep, seeing another massive Uber advantage for 404. Ready to yeah. take this into last. That last push that they did worked well, and look who it is. Showstopper on Heavy. That seems to be their go-to play at this moment with that Uber ad. Yeah, definitely a lot of opportunities for some weird off-passing and weird tactics. Right now they're coming in here, bot mode, and Jay being pushed forward. They've gotten the kill on Yosh. Oh, Showstopper is in damage. here. Yeah, Marmalou from behind, but eventually he's going to go down here to the Heavy Weapons guy. Heavy Weapons guy gets an arrow heal. He's still weak, but he's soaking up those heals. Trip Boy has to go down. Pressure on the point now. Ash trying to fight against Sight. He's got the melee out. He's going to force the trade off the explosive damage. And there's the capture. 2-0 in 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, starting to go quick. Ford can't let this slip away unless they're ready to do a massive comeback again. And that last hold, Sai was kind of a non-factor. He's just hiding behind the point. They desperately need his damage if they're going to deal with a heavy. Yeah, Showstopper coming out was devastating to have that time on it. Showstopper taking the opponent's deck nice and early. Now they're switching back over the other side. Showstopper gets the bottle. Triple A trying to jump up from underneath. Some damage on bot mode. Marmalou trying Ooh, to follow it off. Does get the here. kill there. They've gotten two. They've only lost Yosh here. 404 trying to find somebody to heal. He does get a, uh, an arrow kill. But, you know will go down there last yeah. person dying too yep it's gonna have a longer spawn spawns relatively quick on gully wash generally so he will be up in time for the last hold that mid it was great from uh trip and marmalu they got in on the enemy choke did so much damage there in the meantime yite found that opening almost got up onto bear but sai was the savior one sticky one pipe took care of him real quick bear lives now they've got this uber ad pushing last they need to win this round got to keep this game close don't let it slip away yeah, certainly, and this is one of their best opportunities so far in this map to get on the board. 
Sandblast and Lobby kind of alone. They got a couple players in Alley. Sandblast coming that way now. Looks like they'll just push this. Uber charge kind of straightforward. Yep, they do have Jay. Jay's into a there. Pyro. Yeah, right there on the pyro. Pyro's right now, healthy. though. He's uh, not able to push a lot of players back. Showstopper has gone down. Oh, but Sai, though, pushes in hard. Ends up getting completely cut off. Jay's on the heavy weapons guy now. And Ford in retreat as they've lost three players here. Yeah, Marmalu never committed either, so that last, um, they kind of gave up a lot of uh, the upper height there because the Uber was just sticking around near River. Nice pick there on Yite, really crucial, going to buy them a lot of time here. Oh, mm, Trip gets Ash, blasted though. in. Yeah, and Ash there. above choke, oh, really good work done. he doesn't die either. Yeah. Typical Hunter Beast just barely surviving there. Great damage from his uh, teammates to uh, get those frags. They're going to push in the mid here. Sticky's on the post, but they're able to find it. Oh, good pipe. But everyone's out. They just gave up mid. Little Sticky's on the spiral as well, or the nipple, excuse me. Marmalou had dropped down, but... I don't know. 404 rotating the big door side. Do they think they have advantage? They're just committing here. This is yeah. an exchange. They've miscalculated. But Marmalou dies through the drop down. Ash mm. dies and choke. They could flood oh. through. Wait, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah Sandblast, Sandblast is on the ground. Yeah, Sandblast does track down Ash at the end there. Right now, the Baradak land trip will he go down. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, there goes Jay. That was just madness there. Showstopper and Jay, I think, combining for those kills. Two players upside guy, extremely weak. He gets taken out. Marmalo just back in lobby. Uh, this is looking dire for this first half here. Yeah, when they popped that Uber, they had to get that through choke. 404 was completely isolated. He had to retreat through a big door. Mm -hmm. So there were no heals on mid there. Ash living way too long. Gets out through drop down to pull Sandblast out of position. They need to just get through choke and find find kills on mid. But just too too slow and uh, too much chaos, I guess. They didn't, they didn't react properly. Now they're on their last. Staring down the barrel of another heavy. And another uh, yeah last hole. Yeah. Potentially a 3-0 here. Yeah, she'll stop her once again, looking, uh, looking to push that heavy weapons guy out through wood. Does even get a flash here. Marmalou jumping from behind. He was just trying to get back to spawn, and so much cap time by Jay and Yai. They get it. Looked easy. Yeah, that's that's rough. 3 0. Uh, I, I was going to say earlier that, um, you know, Goalie Watch to me, for some reason, sort of epitomizes the the trend of running that pyro to uh, counter the uh, full Uber dis ad. And it seems like Showstopper is uh, making a point for uh, roamers coming up heavy on uh, Goalie Washa. Uh, I mean, it's similarly, it's a map that uh, way back at I-58 and uh, even the Copenhagen games last year, I noticed that a lot of European teams on Goalie Wash, they really like sack one player and then come up an off class, you know, come up even just soldier, but come up banner, you know, and instead what we're seeing is Showstopper in these opportunities where you know he you know maybe went down in that fight on two coming up heavy weapons guy just walking through wood really effective stuff yeah i mean if it's if it's working might as well keep doing yeah. it it's on ford to adjust and shut that down but really what ford should be thinking about is not necessarily the last holds they want to avoid even being in that position they need to they need to try to win more of these uh team fights and close yeah. out the last pushes themselves it's starting to look Similar to their last attempts on uh, on process, where they were struggling with those. Yeah, and I mean Metalworks, you know, it was a three zero first half, so you know we we know that it's in the realm of possibility, but at the same time, that three zero didn't didn't quite feel the same as that Metalworks three zero. Yeah, it really didn't. It doesn't look like Ford, you know, really had much to work with, like. There wasn't a lot of hope given there, but maybe, you know, that, that halftime pep talk will be good enough. Uh, you know, we won't count them out, that's for sure. But <clears> this <throat> is a big hole to dig themselves out of. We know it's possible, but yeah. Yeah, they, you know, just haven't quite shown enough on this, um, these mid-fights. Um, I don't know if they, yeah, no, they actually, you know, technically did win that last mid-fight. But that's still, you know, like, what does that really mean for you when you lose the mid-fight and you still lose the round within four minutes, you know? It means you're not really able to capitalize on it or, you know, get forward. Yeah, and looking at the stats, it was actually a, quite a low kill game. Most mm -hmm. people fewer than 10 kills, so...
it's it's just a lot of momentum swings into last and then the round's over yeah just uh you know 12 minutes so um definitely a pretty short half overall second round being the most brutal but you know still uh ford gaming I haven't really been able to get much traction in this map yeah i'd like to see uh trip step it up i mean he is struggling yeah uh, this is the you know the benefits and the funds of seeing you know multiple map tf2 you know really being able to see how these teams um you know kind of compete against each other on multiple maps you know process you know sort of considered 100 beasts uh, best map they certainly did well on it board gaming though able to rally um in pretty amazing fashion on metalworks but now once again on goalie wash it seems like they're uh, having difficulties uh getting it in gear yep Looks like Ford's ready to go. They're ready to face this comeback. So uh, just waiting on 100B, and there it is. They ready it up. We're going live for the second half, map three. 100B currently in the lead, 3-0, with a pretty dominant, strong performance. This is going to be on Ford to completely turn this around. We'll see what they can bring to the table. Yeah, it's been a long night of exciting TF2, and no matter what, this is our last half. Either going to end with 100Bs, pick it up two more rounds, or Ford rolling back five. Right now, though, bot mode and Marmalu trading very quick. The Bs trying to get reset up on the deck. Trip Boy kind of holding that ledge and then jumping down. Ash getting floated, still surviving, though. The Bs backed up on Choke. They're player disad, so they're just going to back up. Second half starting off pretty decent for Ford Gaming here. Yep. Ooh, that, they're trying to keep trade. it up. Oh, Sandblast uh, didn't shoot. He could have killed Ash. He just didn't shoot. He didn't click. Yeah, Trip went in for the sack to bust that open. Bot mode was not in position. So they, they could have flooded in, but they opt not to. They're going to slow it down. But, you know, taking mid, it's a good start. Yeah, Showstopper on the spy here. So the beasts continue to kind of mix it up. You know, they have the lead, but they want to, you know, build upon that as well as just uh, put more fear into the minds of uh, Ford Gaming here. Marmalin trying to skip jump through, um, but uh, oh, not going to get it. Oh, and here comes Joe's he gets him! Oh, man, that's, I think, the third time he's been backstabbed. They, yeah, that timing, you really wouldn't expect. Yeah, quickly and I mean... Dispatching with Sandblast there. Oh, and Trip, Trip Boy, also yeah, in. awkward situation. He might get pistol down, no, getting out, just Sad. barely. Sai though getting completely flanked out here. Mm, somehow, yeah, we'll get the trade on Yite. Oh, they're just uh, bleeding there players Marmaloo. constantly. Yeah, pretty devastating stuff here now. We're gonna get a force hopefully from Trip. Oh, oh doesn't no, happen. not he quite. Four too early. Yeah, four four doing a good job of just holding on to that. Didn't want to pop it. Yep. I wonder if we're gonna see a heavy this time. Looks like they don't have time to set it up. Doesn't quite line up so. They're just going to push it with their traditional lineup here. They're getting ready. They're already in upper lot. They've been favoring yep. this shutter push instead of going river. The Uber yeah. comes through. They find trip. That's one clean kill. Mm, Marmaloo. Marmaloo. Just... Yeah, trying to jump around. He goes over to deck, takes some damage. Showstopper on top of Paradactyl. He gets the kill there. He's going to get an arrow as well. And uh, 100 bees just swarming the point right now. They get the wipe. They get the capture. They are within one round of winning yeah. this match. So Ford has been here before. Down 4-0, running a sniper to middle. This is quite the gamble to bring this match back. We'll see if it pays off. But yeah, they need another miracle comeback. I doubted them last time, but I think I'm going to doubt them this time. I just <laughs> don't see it happening. Yeah, it's uh, certainly not the most common. Oh, that's a Baradactyl just goes down to rockets from Ash and spam from bot mode. More surging players coming forward here. This looks like it might be a quick map indeed. Psy guy just trying to battle up against this pistoling spy. We'll get a nice pipe Look on him. Look at hiding on mid behind these crates. I've never seen this. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Can't get spotted. He will see players as they jump through. Oh, he goes the wrong way. He gets oh, the he gets him though. Is this the beginning? Oh, but Sai is going for desperation already. He's jumping in. He kind of was acting as if this match was over, I think. Mm, Sai thrown up in the air. Oh, no air shot there from he Ash. Got Sai, yeah, we'll go. They can't down. let Ash out there. 
Oh, and Sandblast. Sandblast. <laughs> yeah, going in for it. Bot mode has gone down, no, but yeah, kick very scrappy here. Yosh coming in. Bear Deck gonna go down. Very scrappy stuff. <laughs> I don't know why Sai jumped forward there. I think he honestly thought he had to be the hero coming through choke. Mm -hmm. And Marmalu went for the flank. He thought he was going to land on them. But instead, he kind of throws his life away. And then just 100B are like, oh, well, I guess we'll just go in. They don't yeah. close out a bunch of kills. And it's a 30%, you know, 20 ad now. Showstopper's on the heavy. I mean, they haven't failed with this push yet. So it's not looking good. Yeah, this is their move uh, right here, you know, get uh, Showstopper ready to go in through Wood. Marmalu maybe trying to wait for him, but at the yeah. same time, you have a, a soldier versus a heavy weapons guy. Marmalu backs up, so we, we won't see how that fight plays out, but we can imagine. Yeah, Marmalu would need to hit three crisp rockets there. It's unlikely he could pull that off against a heavy. Uber comes in. Yeah, Showstopper waddling his way through it. A lot of pressure on the point already. Jay's there, Ashy's there, they're firing it. They're getting some frags here. Only a couple players left for Ford Gaming. That's gonna be it. 5-0 for Beast Mode. They close this match out and I think under 20 minutes of gameplay. Taking Goalie Wash by the 5-0. But Ford Gaming, what a fantastic showing on that second map to get us here in the first place. Banny, some thoughts yeah. on uh, Goalie Wash here? Yeah, a bit disappointing, honestly. Ford not really finding any momentum whatsoever. The one mm -hmm. round that they had a chance to push last, they just botched it completely. So 100B just completely in control there. They they got so many full Uber ad pushes into last, even busting out this heavy, which I don't think was necessarily their game plan, but they just started kind of... They got into their uh, into their groove and just kind of yeah ran, o ran over uh, Ford with that. Yeah, pretty insane stuff from them. I mean, just, you know, well played. Uh, they, they certainly had to dig deep, you know, when it came to this match. Not quite able to get that overtime victory on Metalworks and just um, close that close that down. Um, you know, again, on, on behalf of Ford Gaming, you know, got to take your hats off to them. You know, just putting on a great show here tonight as well as just getting the um, third place in this season was certainly just kind of a really competitive, you know, season. We saw the down to the wire finish between fifth place, fourth place, and third place. So, you know, certainly these players on Ford Gaming, you know, kind of, kind of like 100 Beasts, you know, there's, there's players that have been around. The 100 Beast crew have been, you know, climbing their way up and, and raising their potential of what results that they can get. And uh, same thing with this Ford Gaming crew. You know, they just continue to work, continue to uh, improve, strive at it. Um, I think that they put in a great season. They should be proud of the third place and um, their performance here tonight. But yeah, unfortunately, not going to be continuing this season. Yep, for sure. Props to Ford for a strong season. They had an amazing comeback, you know, c climbing through the standings after, you know, things were looking dire. They had a very weak start to the season. I think they went 0-4. and four, But... Um, mm -hmm. Through perseverance, they ended up making the playoffs and making it to third place. Respectable. Um, hopefully, we'll see more from them in the future. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Um, shout out to our um, advanced champions that uh, Spire IQ won today. Um, the um, main was also won by Sword Art on Nine. The IM finals will be tomorrow, although it sounds like we will be having the invite grand finals most likely tomorrow as well. So uh, make sure to uh, tune into that broadcast tomorrow night. You won't be seeing Banny in the casting booth. We'll be seeing him on the playing field. But while we have you here, Banny, any final words? Um, it was a fun cast. Thanks for having me. It was a cool opportunity to cast here on RGL. Um, yeah, hope you know the Grand Finals lives up to the hype of tonight. Though, uh, you know, hopefully with a different victor. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, certainly was a pleasure having you in the casting booth uh, with me, Banny. You did a fantastic job. It was my pleasure. Um, huge shout out to Dolphin, who is running production tonight. Also, of course, to um, RGL of owner, founder, Sigafu, and the rest of the RGL admins as this season winds up has been a fantastic time across all the divisions. Thanks so much, though, for you guys tuning in. You guys made it fantastic. You guys were a great crowd. We really appreciate the viewership. And, uh, well, that does it for us, ladies and gentlemen. I am Agstein. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys next time. Peace out.